It's time. Um, okay. Yeah, stop practicing. So, I just didn't want to embarrass myself on stream. I was oh, I'm sure you'll making be making sure I, my amoeba jump skills are up to par. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew uh, Wednesday edition. Uh, I'm James, and I'm Aralyn, and this is where we play new games on classic consoles. And on Wednesdays, we go back and revisit uh, games that we have played, and uh, you know go for high scores or go for completions or just check out updates yeah, to games that we've changed. already yeah and see what uh, the programmers have put into it hello work the jerk hello mau mau games hey guys and everybody else who is silent and not typing which is okay yep you can sit there and just watch just we do don't your mind. thing man <laughs> yeah <laughs> and uh, we're broadcasting from vancouver british columbia canada as uh, Nardwar the Human Serviette would say, probably before your time. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I can pretend that I know, but yeah, he's that would a, be disingenuous. A radio broadcast interviewer, he usually reviews bands and stuff in Vancouver. He's well known. Um, so today we're going to play two games, uh, Amoeba Jump and also Gingerbread Man. Of yeah. course, we played them both before. Gingerbread Man we actually played last episode last Friday and uh, we got through a couple levels but today we're gonna go for the complete okay round cool. of levels we're gonna do them all I've um I played amoeba jump before yes. but I have not played gingerbread man gingerbread what was it gingerbread man okay yeah, gingerbread yeah. man I so I full title I, is gingerbread I, man one tough cookie okay as, they, a, as so, a subheader there we go header. it's gonna be a tough game yeah tough it cookie. is not easy it is challenging and Quite well made for an Atari 2600 platform. Damn. Um, so, uh, we will get to those. Actually, And we're playing Amoeba Jump because there's been some updates. Is everything good? Yep. Okay. Oh. I'm always worried because I didn't check my oh, levels. Yeah. But we're all good. Okay, we're in good shape. Uh, and we're broadcasting. Because um, Amoeba Jump has had a bunch of updates since we last played it. That's great. Um, a lot of really good updates and challenging updates. Really challenging. And so we're going to, we have an aim and a goal to get to a certain point in the game that I have not he, made it to yet. He has a better chance of getting there <laughs> I, than me, I but have, we'll see. Yeah. I got 20, you did, you did really 2,691 well. points and I was just right. screwing around. So that's we'll right. See. And that's, that's a pretty good <laughs> score. Um, so we took part in the Draconian right. high score contest, the homebrew contest. And we did not too bad. Which I've never played that game before. And yeah. then I, I thought I was going to get crushed. And I did one game, which I did quite well. Yeah. For me, I don't think I was... Not well in like the, the overall wellness, but well for me. But pretty good, like going up against the rest of the yeah. internet. Um, so it's over because that was July's contest. Okay. And uh, August's contest is... Uh, oh, what is it? I remember it is a tough game. Yeah, it is a tough game, but we'll we'll play that yeah, later. We'll give it a go. We'll play that later in the month, and I'll do it on a Wednesday. Oh yes, okay. It'll be like the last Wednesday of the month, so we can just sneak in. I'll be there with our I'll scores at the, the last Wednesday second. <laughs> Unfortunately, Wednesday is not the last day of the month. I don't think so. Somebody still has a chance oh, well. to go. No, nah, no, nah, we're not, we're not having that. But I don't think we're gonna do well because it's damn hard. Unless everybody doesn't do well, it's a yeah. hard, hard game. What we'll we'll it? do our personal best, yeah. <laughs> which means nothing. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it means something. Yes. Challenge, change number one, no longer poodle jump. Yeah, that's a big change. It's, right. it's not called poodle jump. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Okay. Uh -huh. I suppose is here. Hello, I suppose. I need a little doggy there. Yeah, man. Um, so we did pretty good. Um, the rankings go like this for uh, Draconian, the high scores. Um, the guy who's running the contest that's came first, as per usual. Uh, <laughs> yeah, with with the same score, he didn't beat it, so just over half a million. Which yeah, which is, is insane. It's an I just no way. That... Yeah, I would have to play for a long time. But he said, in the forums, he said, "I like your style. I think you could make it with more practice to half a million or a million. He said we could both roll it, him and me. <laughs> wow, roll it. he's and probably I, he's probably not wrong." I, with a lot more practice, like just really dedicating did, and, and did playing he, uh, really safe. Did you say anything about me? No. no <laughs> it's like... He didn't, unfortunately. <laughs> then in second place, Spiceware. 
the guy who made the Hell game. Oh yeah, man, you gotta hit hand him that. Yeah, I mean, he made the game because he likes the game, so he's obviously gonna be pretty good at it. And then Retro Goober snuck in at the last moment, oh. beat my score by eighteen thousand. So he got two hundred eighteen thousand five hundred, and I got two hundred thousand two hundred fifty. So I got came in fourth place, which I'm totally happy with. That's, this fourth place is good. I'm man. not an expert player. I'm not bad. I'm not bad at at certain types of games. Um, then it's Nathan Strum, uh, Oyama Family, and some guy named Erlen. Yes, dude. Pulls What's up that? The rear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh place. That's all I've ever wanted is seventh yeah. place in Draconian. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's all I've ever, Your all I could ever complete. do. Actually, it's, I'm really happy. I w wanted to do um, better than 70,000. That was my goal. Yes. And I got 96,000, totally which was I did not think that. would happen. Yeah. And I probably could have done a lot better. I died like three times in a row stupidly, but yeah. But that's what happens, man. You, yeah. you get cocky. So you got four points for that because that's, it goes 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. That's a solid thing, yeah. man. Yeah, and you know, people got uh, one point. Arena Foot is not here. He's working. Arena. But he got one point. Uh, nobody else in there participated. So after adding up, because I've played um, the first round as well. Oh, um, I can't remember the game now, but, oh, is no, I can't remember the game. Um, so I have 13 points. That puts me in third place. Wow. Actually, which is not bad. And I am a little bit behind Retro Goober. So I'm going to have to do a yeah. lot better because he's four points ahead. So I would have to beat him by four positions. That's yeah. tough. But and you know what? The guy who's running it has got perfect score, 20 out of 20. Well, you know, and yeah. that's the thing. He's he knows his stuff. <laughs> he does. So you know, I'm in third place. I'm super happy with that. I'm gonna drop in the next round for sure because I'm sure it's gonna be it's, tough. Game. It's gonna be tough. It's but as tough. you said, who knows? Yeah. You know, maybe it could be struggle for other people. And what am I? I'm ninth place or something. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, tenth place. But and tied I, for nine. Tied right? with uh, Tanya. Actually. Really? Me and yeah. Tanya? Oh, Because you both played one game each, and you both did fairly well in that game. So... Wow. We'll, I'll get maybe Tanya to play the next game during a Friday, and then a Wednesday with you. Yeah. So you can both stay in the we charts. Can, we can both fight for yeah. our ninth place. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> ninth place. <laughs> Getting two points. Um, so, what other... Thing did I want to say? Oh, yeah, I've got a video of hello. I supposed to James and Air A A E R. Is that good? Yeah, Is that good works for me. That's great. That's a perfect abbreviation. Perfect. Um, there's a new game. It doesn't even have a name yet. It's oh. so new. Uh, I it was. It's done by John Van Newman, who made Draco, which we played a couple weeks ago, and it's a new platformer. Today seems the theme seems to be platformers. Platform games, man. Um, so we're gonna bring up the video of this game. Um, let me switch over to s uh, screen capture. There we go. One second. I'm just going to go full screen on that. And switch over. So he posted this a couple days ago. And I thought it was worthy to show on the show because it's already a really amazing game. He hasn't released a binary, so we can't play it yet. Because he's only made... Th Three levels, four levels right now. Um, so here is the video for it, and it's a, a it has no sound, so we can talk. So it's like a platformer oh, there. Wow. You get the snake character. Actually, I don't even know if this is the newest video. Oh, it is the newest video. He has screenshots of other stuff. So he's got a moving platform, which is really good, and he's got a disappearing platform. He's got something he can push wow. onto an enemy. Yep. And then Shifting World. This looks fun, man. Yeah. Uh, this shifting looks like world. a lot of fun. Good jumping. Um, then you get a sword. And there's ducking, too. Wow. Which is really, really cool. Ducking. He's playing it real safe there. And then I think this is a boss level. Oh, and that's, that's the end. That's the end. Do you know what those points were for? I mean, we'll find out. Yeah. He hasn't implemented points yet. He so just, he's, just, he's just letting us know. Yeah, just like the start. He's like, hey, there's a game. I'm pretty sure there's a newer version of that, actually. But anyway, it's in the... Uh, he posted on Facebook. 
uh, where was it? Do, 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 do. Oh, I can't remember where he actually posted it, but I reposted on the Zero Page Facebook group. Um, so you can check it out there again. And it's John Van Newman who made Draco, which was uh, a fun shooter game. So he's, he's uh, covering the bases. He's got yeah. a shooter and a platformer. So we will play that on the show as soon as he releases a binary. But, I mean, it's only two levels so far. Three levels he's posted. Um, I swear there was one more piece of info. Oh, yeah. There was a, a hack, a game hack that I ordered. Um, Ooh. Normally I don't order hacks. I don't, yeah. I don't even pay attention to hacks on this, on the show or even like, not even on the show, like at, at all. I'm just going to bring it up here so I can, uh, remember it. There it is. So it is a game. Oh no. Called Bouncer. There it is. Cats are being bad out yeah, there. Yeah, some some actions <laughs> going on. Yeah, it's a game called Bouncer. Hey, Mr. Fix, we're still in the intro, doing some news, doing some catch up. You didn't uh, miss any of the yeah, playing we'll yet? Yeah, play some games soon, man. Yeah, Don't like worry. a couple minutes. Um, so I ordered that. You just put on cartridge. It's a hack of a game, but it's kind of like Cubert, where you're bouncing around on platforms and changing their color, and things are chasing you on the platforms. But it's and it's of a game called Boing with an yeah. exclamation mark, and that game is like a hundred dollars to buy. It's like really expensive. I'm never going to purchase a hundred dollar Atari cartridge. Yeah, it's probably just, that's just a lot of money. Yeah, but he's done. If some... anyone wants to send one to yeah. James, he'll. Play. I do need it. I will play. It. <laughs> Not on the show because we only play homebrew on the show. But <laughs> um, it, he changed the graphics and changed the colors so that the background's always black because. In the 80s and 70s, for some reason, they really wanted to show off the color. Well, I, mean, I guess it to makes show sense. Off the color. Like either, so, so Atari like had this decree that you couldn't make the background black for the longest time because they wanted to show, oh, it's so colorful, right? Look at our games. Yeah, so the background was all these terrible colors and mismatched palettes. All this stuff, palettes yeah. of Of like where you had to jump on, so it was really hard to see. So he changed it to black. And he made 30 copies, I think, of the game. So I ordered one. And so we're going to do a hack day Ooh. of games that were released, but people altered them. And we're going to play like really good hacks, not just like, oh, I changed the look of the main character. Yeah. These are like, oh, we changed the level design how things work in the game it's like, like somebody a, it's like a mod day yeah, if you it's, will. It's, yeah it's it's the modern equivalent of a mod or even like um a dlc yeah add-on it's like that's oh, cool we like the game so much we gave you more of the game and it's like oh great more of the game that's awesome yeah my favorite game growing up was diablo 2 yeah it has a crazy modding community i played oh, so nice. many of the mods and this and sometimes they're like completely different games that's great right because you love this the basic gameplay of it and it's like oh more please yes yeah. more and they're usually free oh right? they're always free which is yeah. great and they got a really nice community too it's just so oh. kind of i think it's a cool thing i mean i guess that's what homebrew is in a it lot is of ways a too, very but. very tight knit small community that just loves every like somebody makes something everybody loves that because it contributes more back absolutely mr fix is very excited about that and Stamp. arena foot likes hacks too Oh, cool. So he'll be excited about that yeah. as well. And he's the keeper of the homebrew list, but the homebrew list also contain, contains hacks. So wow. he has the big list. And well, he, Arena's got to maybe give us some suggestions. He did. Oh, he's, he's already done? Yeah. Of course, he's yeah. Arena. <laughs> because when I bought that, I went, okay, well, we got to do a hack day now. So who to go to? It's Arena Foot. He's the guy. Yeah, so he gave me a list of games. I already picked out a couple. And I think I've already posted it in my thread in Atari Age, if you want to head over there. Just search for Zero Page Homebrew and it'll show you all the hack games. And I'm not sure what day we'll be doing that because I don't know when that's going to come in. So it's pretty much going to be this, the next day, yeah. the next game day after Bouncer comes in. Agreed I'll be up for watching some rad hacks that I may have overlooked. Yes. So, but on to our first game. Cool. Which is Doodle Jump. 
No longer Poodle Jump. But we have played it since Poodle Jump. Because okay. when you played it... I think it was it, Doodle Jump. No, yeah. it was a, no, Amoeba, it jump. A, Amoeba Jump. Worse, no, Doodle Do- Jump is the, the original. is the app game. Yeah, that's the original. I, I did play it when it was Amoeba Jump. Yes, and that was the first iteration. Yeah, what are which... the updates that have happened? Do you know, do you know what they are? Uh, they are a whole bunch. Because the one we played was uh, the July 27th build or something. Um, June 27th, actually. Oh, what wow. am I talking about? Um, so springs are no longer guaranteed on each screen. Remember, you could do a like. Oh yeah, boing, that makes boing, a lot boing, of sense. Boing, 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 it was it jumping. was a little bit too easy actually. In it some was ways. racking up the points like super super easy. Let me just get this ready so we can. There we go. Oh, and we'll get the sound going. There we go. Turn should that I, up a bit. Should, did you, do you want to do the honors or shall I? Um, I you can play for a while while I read out the changes. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, so whoever, so people who haven't seen this in a while, um, this was originally oh. called Doodle uh, Poodle Jump. Well, Doodle Jump originally as an app, and it was on you know Android iOS and iOS, and um, every platform, and it did really really well. But it wasn't for Atari Twenty Six Hundred, <laughs> so uh, Dianoid stepped up to the plate. I went, I'm gonna make this. And right out of the gate, it was awesome. Like the first release I was like, oh my god, this is the game I didn't know I was missing and I always wanted. <laughs> it's yeah, this so is good. just such a kind of like. Just addictive. Like, I want to play again and again and again. Um, so, this release um, is from oh. yesterday. So, it's brand wow. new. Wow. Fresh off the press. I remember the colors being different. I could be wrong. Uh, no, it was always yellow. Always yellow, and there's white and blue platforms, which were in the game that you played. Okay, I'm just going insane. Um, so springs are no longer guaranteed on each screen, now appear randomly, which improves the gameplay and makes combo spring jumps more special. They are still possible, because oh. they do line up a little bit once in a while. Uh, but don't worry, speedrunners, two or three combo jumps are still possible now and then. Because some people were like, oh, I love doing the spring jumps and continuous spring jumps. And it was fun. See, so you just got two. Could have got three. But oh, yeah. That was a stretch. That one was a little bit higher. I was like, my, my, my uh, Amoeba jump skills are not. <laughs> it is a challenging game because uh, you have to land on the platforms and he's constantly jumping, right? There's no stopping and then pressing the button for jump. It's just moving left and right. It's only two controls. Um, and then the next update after that, blue platforms now move independently oh. from each other because all the blue ones you used to move together. Oh, yeah. And now that's a, they're all over the place. That's a really good update. We'll see if Huge. we can get to the blue yeah. ones. Uh, James I think might... you did well off stream. I did. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, and then the next update was, as requested, extra challenge screens with all white and all blue pla- platforms. Ooh. So the all white ones, so you landed on one. I remember, and it I think we were, we were talking about that idea during stream, actually. Uh, I think they existed. Which was like, they did, well, exist. did they exist? Yeah, okay. They did. They did already. The white and blue existed. But. Oh. Um, but we, but the all white and all blue didn't exist, and we did suggest that. Yeah. Oh man. So he implemented that one. I think that's a phenomenal. Yeah, it's a challenge. Wait till you get to the. Oh my God! See, I'm not doing so. You'd well. think the white ones would be harder, but the blue ones moving all oh over the God. place. It's insane. It's crazy. Uh, the next ap- update was a PAL 60 hertz version, which doesn't affect us. We don't have yeah. a PAL system. Um, and then he updated after Amoeba dies, the message press fire appears above the score bar, which is a nice update. So it tells you what's going on. Yeah. Um, and then he moved the press fire message below the play field for better support older versions of Stella, uh, like 375, which is used in the Retron system. Oh, check it out. We got some blue nice. uh, things. Nice. So you made now. it to the mixed area. Uh, and then this version, which is, oh. he's actually versioning it now, is point one, version point one, uh, unified NTSC PAL version. Use the TV type to switch between NTSC colors. Ooh, maybe you are right. Let's see. Make sure we're in color. We are. We're on NTSC. 
um, and PAL, which is black and white. So that's really nice. So you don't have to, so he doesn't have to release two cartridges. He just has to do one. Oh, you I died. died. Um, so yeah, we last played this on June 27th. So it's been just a month and a half now. And you're gonna have to stop after this game. Yes. I'm taking over. There you oh. go. Let's see how my skills are. Because I usually play it on the computer <laughs> and not with a joystick. Yeah, it's more fun with, with the joystick. It is. But it's a different oh, it's a different feeling. Just went off screen. Yeah, this is very different than uh playing with keys. <laughs> <laughs> so I may not be as good right away because I just have to get used okay. to the joystick movement. It'd be cool. I think you'll be our best bet at getting to uh, uh, see some of those like pure white screens or pure blue screens. Yes. So in the meantime, well, we haven't streamed any of them. I've been practicing like hell. And first it comes a white, all white. Oh my god. <laughs> no, please do. I went like nine times. Okay. I died a lot. Uh, it goes all white at, I think, two or three thousand. You didn't make it, right? So it must be four thousand. Yeah. Hello, Atari. Come to join us. This is, the cat's the name is Atari. Just so yes. You know. <laughs> that could be confusing. That could be a funny moment. True. Hello, Atari. This is what he, James is when he plays. <laughs> Hello, Atari. <laughs> yes, this is Atari. And uh, our other cat is Pixel, because he's got a black dot on his stomach that looks like a pixel. And it doesn't join up with any of his other black parts. Uh, so I think it's at 4,000 is the all white. And then the all blue is at 6,000. And I have not made it past the all blue. I yeah. made it past the all white, made it to the all blue, but and I almost made it past the all blue. But it's so hard because everything is moving all the time, and you have to move all the time. There's no yeah. stopping. Yeah, there's no moment of just kind See? of. Yeah. I'll do one more, and then you can. Oh, no. <laughs> no, keep going, keep going. I'll do one more, and then you can. Uh... I like that a lot, and I like too that it got, almost feels like a theme, right? It's like you, okay, I got past this. Now I'm on yes, this. Yes, there's there's parts to it now. It's not just okay, we've made it here, and then it just repeats forever. Oh my god, it was terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. It's a, it's a challenging game. It it definitely is a challenge. It's harder game. than it looks. And it's randomized, so you never know what kind of screen you're gonna get. Like, you could get an easy screen right away with tons of platforms. They're all centered down the middle. Go doing, 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 doing. Or you could get really sparsely populated screens. Oh, I'll see that was a freebie. Hi. Yeah, this and Draconian, I think, are my two favorite homebrews that I've played, yeah. probably. And there's like opposite ends of the spectrum. This yeah. one's like super simplistic. And Draconian is like, like super complex. Tons of sprites all over the screen. All movement, all directional movement, eight-way movement. That RPG was fun too, though. I mm. like that RPG, but that's a completely different experience. It's you kind of play it once and you're like, oh. Yeah, why what? would you need to play it again? I mean, oh. Which isn't a bad thing. No, it's but, the uh, challenge of completing it, right? Um, and I guess you could speed run it or, like, you know, not take as long the next time to complete it. Yeah, and have a little, a little bit more fun. Oh, the other one that was, like, the robot one was really fun, too. <sighs> yeah, robot one. Oh, and the walls. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you give it a go. Um, where he's jumping from the side of the walls to the other side of the walls? Oh, Did no, it's where, one? like, you're shooting, you have, like, every level has different robots, and you have to, like, kill the robots slowly, <laughs> and then you can shoot through <laughs> walls, many, uh... and, um, and it's, like, if you touch the wall, it's, like, electric. Oh, okay, the frenzy one. Yeah, and yeah, there was yeah, two yeah. ones, and one was, and one was yes. far more complicated than the other. Yeah, that's Spicewares, um, frenzy game yeah. that he will be working on once he's finished his programming language uh spicy oh yeah, yeah so that'll that'll be a while because he has to finish developing a complete programming language it's insane it is 
I mean, he's got it started. He's got some basic, you know, like hello world. I don't know if, any, if you've done programming, but that's like the first thing you do is get something printed on the screen. I haven't done any. I, well, the closest I ever did was in, I hung out in the library at one point and tried to learn how to do it. Uh, okay. in, in junior high school, there was like a, a C plus plus club. Okay. And I was, and I was, I, I, I thought, I, I thought I was like going to be programming video games within my second <laughs> session, and then I, and yeah. I realized very quickly that Not programming <laughs> is, is a, is, is a labor of patience. Yes. More than anything else. And an art. And when you're 14 years old. Patience is not on it, your uh, side. runs dry quickly. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm at three. So it should be coming soon, the white. Yeah, definitely. Oh, my God, oh you're doing close. way better than me. Sometimes, like, you jump up on things that you don't want to jump up on. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, there we go. And there's no springs, so it takes a little longer. To, and you can't pause at any moment. Yeah, there's like, no... You have to keep going. You always have to look for your next part to jump to. I love this is like a very nice like ramping up of challenge. Oh it's yeah. It's really using the mechanics of the game very well too. I'm a big fan of this. Yeah, because it's like oh, oh. god damn it. Oh. <laughs> it's taken that's the thing too, and there's a feeling of oh. <laughs> zero points. Top score. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> Yeah, it takes one part of the game, which is the white, that it introduces early. And so it gets you used to the white. And it's like, oh, that's how white works. And now here's all white. Um, and, and it just takes, like, an idea and just works it, too. And it's, oh, man, there's a nice feeling of progression as well. There is. Which and is so important. It's oh. it, That's a tough one. Where you're like, I'm going to land on that. Oh, it just went off the screen. Like, oh, man. Damn it. Um, yeah. yeah, you need that progression. You need that ramp up. And feeling of accomplishment. Yeah. Where you're like, and, and clear division in the game oh, of, I made it go. to this, I made it to this. Because that was Oh, my... I made it to the white part. Yeah, right? that was my only complaint about it being entirely random, was yeah. you just kind of feel like, oh, I just go forever. Yes, and that gets, you know, a little boring. It's like, okay, I get it. Cause there's, and there's already, a, like, an RNG element to where all the pieces are placed anyways. Mm -hmm. So having a feeling of, like, zones and sections. And it's also, like, you know, even just, like, what you just said there, too, is really cool. You're like, oh, I'm, I, I've made it past the white into the blue, but I can't beat the blue yet. Yeah, yeah. It, even just having that language is really nice because <laughs> it gives a feeling of, like, oh, it's like in Draconian where you get each level, you get to feel, like, even though it's it's slightly different there's a feeling of like oh now there's a new some new bases that's right and it's in a different configuration oh my god oh my god dude see, wow mm -hmm. see this is where i wouldn't see it's not even in the white or the blue but it it was so combo. random i'm gonna go once go more one, yeah i don't even know if i'm gonna get to the part i want to <laughs> oh well, i'm sure we'll be able to It's addictive too. It makes you want to. I just want to like beat myself. I'm yeah. like, I gotta just do better than I did last time. Yes, it's one of those games that it's so, you know, just simplistic. It's like, why can't I do it? I just, I should be able to make it that much further. And I like the, I like that the springs have been sort of like um, balanced a little bit as well, because yeah. it was a little bit. Um, I mean, I like the fact that you could jump that much, yeah. but it's so funny with game design, right? You need to sometimes like what's more fun is challenge. <laughs> yes. Like, although as a as a player, I objectively prefer the idea <laughs> of just springs, all of them springs. That's right. It became, but it you know, became the spring game. Yeah. And that's not what he intended it to be. It's not the spring game those springs were a bonus and he, he he quickly realized everybody was just playing the spring game yeah. which was which was fun for a while i remember i think i was reading this article about a uh, game design and how it's like you need to protect the player from themselves and not <laughs> yes. as in like because the point is is that the the player is meant to push the thing as far as it can go yeah. and so the designer needs to find a way to anticipate what that is and then make it so that the because because ultimately we're so dumb 
we want things to be like we want to have fun but at the mm -hmm. same time we want to use all of the stuff that we've got so yes. if it's like if there's a spring every time yeah we'll, we'll use we'll it that. but that doesn't mean that it's going to be a more fun experience no we'll abuse the game to the point where we make it not fun, fun <laughs> because we're doing it in a certain way that makes it not fun but we can't help it yeah, and, and, and that's Whoa. the point of the player, is to want to try and, like, yeah, what, what do I have at my disposal? Okay, I'll do that. Yeah. Which is, oh! oh, look, but cool number. Four, 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 four. 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 Marina Foot, hello! Hey! I'm at work, can't stay long. I'm going to tell your boss that you're watching video games at, well at work. <laughs> 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 yeah, I won't tell on you. Don't worry. Yep. Hey, thanks for dropping in. Um, Where do you work, Arena? <laughs> I'm don't, sure. You don't have to let us know. Oh, if you, you don't want to score thing. Oh, thanks, no, Arena. Don't. You don't have to let us know. I'm just, I was just, I was yeah. just wondering. I doubt it. I doubt it. What I'll address? What's your, away. what's your boss's phone number? Yeah. <laughs> just, just type it out, just for fun. <laughs> just the last four digits, and then slowly release the other digits. That's right. One, one per episode. He's not even here yet. Oh. <laughs> so that's why you're slacking off. I love it, man. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god oh. okay one more james you gotta wanna... make it to the white yeah man i so Le far haven't you gotta make it to the four thousand at least because that's that's a, a worthy goal there's little glitches i and i can't blame the game on that i don't know why oh that's lucky. like little 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 jumpiness in the in the graphics what do, you, what do you think that might be? I don't I don't know. I don't want to blame it on anything right now. But, um, oh, Arena Foot, you missed. Uh, we read out the cumulative high scores from Draconian. Um, so right now I'm in third overall for the homebrew tournament. Represent. Yep. And, uh, yeah, so we read out those and... I'm in number nine, yeah. so just so you know. <laughs> and I talked about uh, ba Bounder? Bounce? Oh, I forget the name of it now. Bouncer? Oh, oh my god. Bouncer! That I ordered Bouncer and that we're going to do a hack and that you're filling in some of the... You gave me a list of good hack games that we can include on that episode. And so I'm making it into the bouncing. <laughs> Bouncing game. Spring game. No, you can't always. Uh, what else? Oh, I put the video on of that new... Um, well, not new, because it hasn't been released. The video of that platformer made by the guy who made Draco. Looks cool, man. Yeah, it looks so cool. Looks I very cool. I think there's a newer video than the one I showed. I just didn't update it in time for the episode. That he shows a couple more levels. But uh, maybe it's just screenshots. Damn, well, you're already farther than <laughs> I can make it. Got to use the springs. Yeah, man. I think I just didn't have a lot of springs, honestly. It There's is a while where oh I was God, like, so sparse. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Spring it up. Yep. Almost to the 4,000. So we're playing Gingerbread Man later after we exhaust this. Wow. Either I'm going to give up or I'm going to make it past the all blue part. I thought it was going to stay on the screen. Wow. Oh. One more. Yeah, man. Go ahead. Almost to the 4,000, but it's just so far from what I want. It's terrible. Ah! Ah, I see. That's a, that's a classic that's amoeba jump moment. It if is. There ever was one. Oh, I'm going to go for that, but you can't go off of, like, a platform that's higher than the spring and go for the spring. Keep because going. it's Oops. I got arena for got number three bouncer uh what did i get i think i asked for number 25 what can i can you explain what that means um, I, don't know, I just don't know maybe i missed something yeah when um a lot of these guys when they make limited numbers of releases like some Sometimes they make 30 copies or 50 copies or whatever number. They'll they'll write the number of the oh. order. Like, oh, you got number 4 out of 10. Or, oops, I was not paying attention. Um, 5 out of 20 or whatever. And um, 
This guy makes a lot of hacks, uh, Scott Dayton, um, who's um, releasing this. And he does limited runs of them um, for whatever reason. I mean, they're, they are copyrighted games, right, that he's altering. So it's kind of a gray area. He's kind of altering a lot of it, but the, the basic code is still the same. The yeah. other game, even no, ma no matter if he, you know, changes the name and alters the colors or alters the graphics, it's still somebody's code. So he probably leaves it like a limited amount to kind of ward off any issues like that. Um, but sometimes you can just request what number you want. Um, so. He got... Uh, got number three, as he says. Yeah, number three. And, and usually, yeah, lower is best, you know. Yeah, I mean... That's usually how it goes. Well, of course, if you have number one, it's always the yeah, most wanted. Yeah, kind of wants to be number one. But usually they reserve. No, number one's always reserved oh. for the, the guy who makes the game or... Or some, or his yeah. cousin. Um, and probably the last one also is one that's wanted. You know, under ten or the last one. And there was a, a game I was, there was a homebrew that was just on eBay that I did try and bid on, but it went way above what I wanted what to you bid. Wanted to, yeah. Worked out to close to $100 Canadian to, uh, it, with shipping. So Was that, that was, that was its oh, final price. Yeah, and that, I was nowhere near that. Which homebrew game was it? It was, um, Scuzzy, Scuzzy Side. Wow. And it was a fairly early-ish game. Um, it says... Oh, what, what year is that from? Let me look it up. It says it's from 2001. Which is, you know, early, uh, earlier on. It's one of the, one of the earlier ones. Um, and it's just a simple collect collector game, collect the right colors at the right time kind of thing, side scrolling. Um, but um, yeah, used homebrew, like out of print homebrew is so expensive. It's unbelievable. I guess that's why you use the cartridge a lot for. Oh. Yeah, for stuff that I can't get, or I, yeah. it's just gone forever. Um, because it's such a limited market that most people never sell their stuff yeah once you got it it's yours yeah and then it just gets more popular as more people get interested in homebrew so the market gets bigger and everybody who doesn't have that game wants that game like i wanted that game but it's not gonna happen i'm not gonna pay hundred dollars for a game yeah it's just too much it's, at a certain it point, is right it is it's like well i could buy that or i could buy two new homebrew games Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you could have done it, like, but you were close. Uh, no, the joystick went nuts. Oh, no. It kind of held to the right. So I'm wary of this joystick now. Maybe it needs more cleaning, more attention. Because I did have to do... Uh, I did have to do a little bit of surgery on it recently. Keep it alive, yeah. Yeah, so maybe I need to open it up again and take a look. Actually, does anybody out there in internet land know of a good Atari 2600 tester cart? Where you plug in the cart and it'll show on the screen what button you're pressing. Like, you pressing the button, are you pressing left, right, up, up, and the button. Um, it tests paddles. Like, are you to the left? Are you? The... Yeah, it's sticking to the left. Yeah. I may have to... Switch over to a... Switch over right now. Because that's what happened. It happened twice. So, I'm going to switch over to the... Cool. Give us a second here. Yep. Yeah. Switch over to this. Unfortunately, I only have one of those big arcade sticks. Right yeah. Now. I'm going to buy another one as soon as I go down to Portland. Oh, yeah. When are you going to Portland? That's at the end of... Um... Oh, actually, I have to hold down B. Oh, sorry, man. That's okay. I didn't tell you when I was going to turn it on. Okay, hold on now. There you go. Let's go down to today's date. Maybe jump. Yep. There you go. Version 0.1.
Okay, that's gonna be a little bit different with the gamepad. <laughs> but we'll get used to it. I might actually do better. Yeah, um, this definitely feels closer to like what I'm used to. Yeah, that makes sense. Yes, uh, the end of October. Oh. I think just before oh. Halloween. I think it is like the week before Halloween. And then I'm gonna have my local um, game night here with all my friends, obviously. I'm I'm coming. Like a, oh yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> and we have contests too. Um, this year's theme is it's not Atari 2600. Um, but we, there might be some, actually will be some games because this year's theme is um, the arcade because um, it's kind of the oh. 40th anniversary of the arcade with uh, what is what is the game? Um, oh no! See you give it a go now. What's that game? Oh yeah, this is better. This is way better. Way more precise. Is it smaller though? The the screen? Yeah. No, um, I could be. I, could be, I think I'm just, just going you. crazy. <laughs> Space Invaders, that's what it is. This year is the 40th anniversary of Space Invaders, which kind of kicked off um, the arcade. Because before that, it was kind of just... Oh, oh what? No. I thought it was, uh, it was one pixel off. Before that, it was just video games in bars and stuff, like one-offs. And that was kind of the year that everything kind of came together and people started making purpose-built arcades of like oh we have enough video games we can kind of put them all together into one place so i'm gonna have high score contests for arcade games like old school arcade oh, that's games fun. which what are the games you're thinking of of having I'm not sure yet um i've got some of the prizes already and i'll show you that some of the prizes in a second the last year was the 40th anniversary of Atari 2600. Oh, so that's just an easy theme. Yeah, that was easy. Because um, it was, you know, 2017 and uh, 1977 is when the 2600 came out for the VCS. It wasn't called 2600 then. Um, so I made the grand prize was a Raspberry Pi Zero inside atari an atari 2600 cartridge oh, completely cool. contained um game system with like hdmi out all contained within the atari 2600 cartridge that's an incredible prize yeah did you do it yourself yeah oh yeah yeah oh, i did wow. it of course all myself and then some of the other the other prizes were uh, like for first, second, and third, they were were labeled cartridges, like twenty six hundred cartridges with like Game Night two thousand seventeen. And so these are some of the prizes for this year. Are oh. these arcade arcade games, Asteroid and Centipede? Oh my God! I, I mean, those are the, those are the two classics. Yep. That's gonna be that's gonna be quite the prize for the people who. Yes. What else? I have another prize here. Oh, maybe I don't. There's some buttons as well. Little Space Invader buttons. Oh my God. Are those gonna be? Are, are those gonna be? These are door those? prizes. Okay. Cool. Uh, you just you go through the door, you get one. So the Every... kind of the kind of people who get ninth and uh, <laughs> draconium right. could get something like. <laughs> There's the button. It's gonna be fuzzy because it's out of focus. So it's focusing on our faces. As and does. I usually get like actual buttons made for the event too, like little pins. It says like 2018 arcade retro gaming night. I'm sure, there was another prize somewhere around here. I did post it. Oh, I can't remember. James, I'm at my personal best. Ooh, 2,800. Good job. You can make it. You can make it. It's only a little bit more. Oh, God. Oh. 
Oh, oh, some tricky stuff going on. Uh, Mr. Fix says, the one game I'm missing from my basement arcade is Tron. Love that back in the day. Like, you have you have arcade machines in your basement? That is awesome. Yeah, Tron was a classic game, and it, with its special... Did it twist? Oh, my God. Oh, I just I made it. Death. Death. Instantly, oh, my God. Uh, but, I, but that was the goal, right? You yep. were like, get to 4,000. That, that was your goal. My goal is... Way, way farther than that. 8,000? So, yeah, way up there. Oh my god, okay, that's good. Oh, Whew. Mr. Fix has 25 pinball machines. And, and five, five video games. Man, Holy that's Holy hell! That's amazing. It's so awesome. I wish I had even room for that. What are the five video games, if you don't mind yeah. us asking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And pinball is so much fun, man. Oh my god, endless. Like You probably get more enjoyment out of pinball than arcade game depending on the arcade yeah. game just because it's so it's, it's a real so analog it's a real life video game yeah <laughs> it's it's so like like you're yeah, real like the ball is real it's hitting things it's just so random and there's nothing that's related to pixels or there's no, no. generation it's literally it's friction it's it's friggin it's gravity it's yeah <laughs> real real things interacting with real things If I had room, the uh, the arcade game that I would get would be Galaga. Galaga. I love Galaga, but I have no room. I even have permission from the wife to get that, because <laughs> that is quite a commitment to have a, a arcade machine. Oh my God. Oh, he's old school. Space Invaders, Zaxxon. Gorf, Asteroids, and Galaga. And Galaga. So, you, so he's got your yeah. dream. Yeah, you got to send that over to me. you got to make room for your Tron system. Oh my god, I'm doing terrible. Um, now, this is a silly, naive, young question. <laughs> yes. Um, but was the, the video game, did the video game or the movie come first for Tron? Uh, I feel like it's the video game and then the movie. No. Well, no, it's the it's, other way it's, around? It's, it was like pretty much everything. It's co- it was, it was, like, developed at the same time. It's for they, the movie. It's they, not... The movie isn't based on Tron, a video game. It, the, the movie... Movie, yeah, movie came, came first. first. Okay, cool. Like, way before the video game? Or did they release it kind of at the same time for promotional purposes? Have fun, Arena. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. Because I was just going to say that might have been the first, like, video game movie, if that was the case. But oh, no, it sounds yeah. like the video game, if the movie came first, well, then it's not. Yeah, the first video game movie was probably Mario Brothers. <laughs> yeah, I saw that, the 90s movie. Yeah, because all the other video games were based on movies or you know already existing yeah. licenses because it's that was that's the thing it's the phenomenon of of a video game coming first and then a movie it felt like a new thing i always wondered with tron yeah no that was definitely a movie because video games were so young back then that uh like there were very few properties that you could even make games out of. It's like, yeah. oh, you can make a Pac-Man movie, a Donkey Kong movie. They're, they're trying to do it now. An Asteroids movie? I don't know. Yeah, oh, they do it all the time now. There's so many, so many movies based on video games now. One million asteroids. One man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they stretch it pretty far for what. Uh, how they make a game or a movie out of a game it's like rampage it's like oh, okay yeah i can't believe like it that barely one. is not anything to do with the game okay, oh, I'm rest see, oh i can't there that's cool because you kind of Whew, and then you go back a bit and you get a little bit of a rest and then you go and then to you 6, get the next 000, stage and i oh. think it ends at seven thousand. uh movie came first later and for kind of at the same time my arcade got tron right after the movie was released and he said, you see, uh, I got into so an almost fatal car accident. And with the settlement, I wanted to buy an arcade. Uh, but none are around, so I had to make my own. That's oh, really cool. Wow. That's awesome. 
that you have your own arcade. Yeah, it's also amazing how stuff like that can happen, you know, where yeah. a horrible thing can happen in your life and what can come from that is it's actually something you've something... always wanted. Yeah, you know. My sister got in a car crash and she's kind of had a similar lease on life in some yeah. ways. It's crazy, you know. I mean, you're always in pain forever, but, you know, you get something good oh, yeah. from it, right? But congratulations yeah. on, on that. I mean, that's, that's that's like a dream come true. It man. is for everybody in my uh, age range, you know, growing up watching Silver Spoons. I don't know if you heard of that TV show. It's like, it's pretty much Richie Rich, the comic yeah. come to life, like super rich. Well, it wasn't that rich, but um, it was like a rich kid, rich spoiled kid. And he had arcade games in his living room and he had a train that he could ride on that went through his living room and he was just like super rich Lucky kid bastard <laughs> yeah and that was like oh the dream of every kid in the 80s is to live like silver spoons and have an arcade game damn it oh my god you're so like, close yeah silver spoons <laughs> yeah oh, damn it. i think we can make it we can do it now you have to pass the white level. Oh God! See, that's the thing. Is that's you... challenging. You have to keep moving. There's no stopping. It's very it's tense. Just like life. Yeah, that's right. There's no time to slow down. I was panicking before the show because I was like setting everything up and turning it all on, and there was no video coming from the 2600. That's terrible. And I was like, oh my God. What has happened? I haven't done anything to anything. And like the light was coming up. Like I have a light that indicates. What of course it's right before a stream, right? And well, that's why. Because I, I assume everything works all the time. Because it's been working for, you know, half a year now doing the show. Um, so the only time I turn it on is before the stream. Um, so the light was coming oh. on the 2600. Go again. Um and the light, everything, all the lights were coming on. Everything was turning on. But I wasn't getting a signal from the 2600 going to the Frame Meister. It was like, no, no input. And there was not even a signal from the Frame Meister going to the television either. Like the menu wasn't coming up. I was like, what is going on? Those are two separate things. Oh, so I switched the output on the Frame Meister to go to the TV, which actually is a better input now. It's much cleaner. Um, so that actually worked in my favor. Then the menu was coming up. But the 2600 still wasn't coming up. So I was like, what is going on? So I was like super panicking. Oh. I was even looking at the like the power supply of the 2600. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, it's hot. Because I always leave it plugged in. But I should I should turn off the power, uh, the power between shows. Because, I mean, it shouldn't be plugged in. 24 hours a day all year long yeah that's just too much at yeah some point. it's not meant for that i don't think um but it turned out that the frame meister was on the wrong input so it was like oh what atari i'm looking over here and that fixed it but it was mysterious because it should not have been like that at all um, I didn't change inputs to whatever it was. So. Very suspicious. It was very suspicious. I have no clue. But anyway, I switched it back to RGB, and it was all good. And we're all happy. But I was panicking, and it's already hot here, so I was getting even hotter because I was panicking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like the hottest, probably one of the hottest days in summer here yeah. in, in vancouver right now i mean it's not hot compared to other places it's yeah like 30 something yeah it's just we're just not used to it so it's pretty bad yeah. um and and like if you get a fan and stuff going it's no big deal but yeah. that, i think that's the tough part it's like anywhere like if if you're if it's consistently one way it you kind of you kind of get the stuff for it you know yeah you're because like here it doesn't get super hot and it doesn't snow a lot so people don't have things ready for snow and they don't have things ready for heat so when it gets super hot we have no air conditioners in most places and people just don't they do not put winter tires on their car yeah in here because we get three days of snow and everything closes down because it, along with no um and it's random three days you just don't know what those three days are going to be or when it's going to happen yeah 
yeah, so uh, we don't have enough snow plows <laughs> to plow the roads. So schools get closed down, workplaces get closed down, <laughs> and so nobody gets, goes to work or school anyway during those days. So you don't need snow tires. <laughs> Only people who need slow tires are people driving out of province uh, east, not south. And south a bit. We're kind of protected here in Vancouver because to the west, oh my God, to the west is the ocean, to the east is the mountains, and north is the mountains. Yeah, and we're about as American as you can get because we're basically right <laughs> on little, the south. It's a little hump. Because everywhere yeah. else, like the idea that Canada is cold is the case. It is yeah. true. Like this, if you live like any north than us, it's crazy. But. I think 85% or even higher live like within a hundred <laughs> kilometers of the border because we hug the border. Yeah. It's, like it's warm down there. We, yeah, we want to be, be here. We have to be close to the border. So if you look at all the major cities like Vancouver, Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal, it's not that far north. Um, they're all like really close to the border. Like you drive a, an hour or a couple hours and you're in the U S so, oh no, left with nothing. That was a tough gig. Uh, Mr. Fix, I forgot I had Tempest. Ooh, now Ooh. Tempest would be one that I would be very, very tempted to get if I was, like, looking for a second game. That or... I'd probably get Tempest first. I don't know. Star Wars, the arcade game? That's a really... Like, if you get the full one, if you had unlimited money and you could pick whatever game you want, I would definitely get Star Wars the arcade game, the sit-down one, where you're, like, in the X-Wing fighter. Damn. It's so good. Uh, and it's all um, vector-based, so, it like, color vector, too. Oh, my God, it's so good. With, record like, voices from the movie, and it's so awesome. Tempest is also vector-based. And it is amazing, like this 3D fly-through effect. Tempest, the cockpit version? There is it? No, I think he's talking about the, uh, yeah, the cockpit version of uh, Star Wars. Oh my god, that's like the ultimate game for old school, uh, early 80s video games. Um, but it would, it would be uh, Galaga first. Oh, I was trying to like do something. And... Uh, there you go. Okay, and I think this will be my last round. I'll do three games and retire sad but because not even coming close. <laughs> I didn't even make it to the blue yet. It's a tough. It's a tough game, man. It is, and I've been, been practicing it with a gamepad. I've been practicing with a keyboard, which is obviously the wrong thing to do if you're going to play it live uh, with a. With the gamepad. Yeah, man, it's it's like uh, it's like anything. You gotta yeah. prep with the stuff. I've been playing a lot of tennis, and yeah. we just switched the balls out, and I'm like, uh, it's a different game. Yeah, because more you, flat balls. You just get used to a certain <laughs> vibe, and you're like, oh, I'm good at this, and then you're like, oh, actually, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm terrible. Yeah, you gotta play with uh, the actual things. If you're gonna go for a high score in like Donkey Kong on the arcade game, you gotta play the arcade game. You can't play a. Uh, an emulation of it or you know on your computer or even yeah that's right and uh, i suppose it says that he's got mappy that's his game oh damn Can we play mappy um i mean it has been played yeah we played it was um which one was mappy i'm sorry you're in the bad guys you're a, a mouse and there's cats and oh a, that's and a, a fun one man i yep. like that one yeah that's a good one and that is i think being released at the oh my god that was terrible Okay, that's one. <laughs> Two more to go. Why'd you pick Mappy, I suppose? Was it just a, a game that you really liked a lot out of all the other ones? Cause yeah. Not that, not that there's anything wrong with Mappy. I'm oh, just curious game. why that was the one that you picked. Yeah. Cause it, it, I mean, I didn't play it back in the day. I mean, it's, pro it's probably all nostalgia, right? Like what you played, what you liked. Yeah, Mappy was That's tough, too. man. I, I struggled with that game. The, it the, gets really tough. And, but then when I kind of figured out what was going on, I was like, oh, I get this. I, re I went from like extremely like, oh, this is a dumb game to being like, oh, this is really cool. Yeah. Because it, that for that first like 20 minutes playing that game was tough. Yeah. And then I watched James play a bit and I was like, oh, I get this. <laughs> yes. 
Star Castle, that's it's the cheap game. at an arcade auction. Yeah, that's a that's <laughs> got to be a big factor, man. Yep. I mean, if it's I don't a know game how much that you like. Oh, they can go pretty high. Yeah. They started, you know, a thousand for one that's in a good condition, for one that maybe is not too popular. That's and still a thousand bucks, though. To yeah, it is. Yeah, but it's like a f God. Oh, so terrible. They can go thousands and thousands depending on like perfect condition. Oh, and yeah. a really sought after rare game because there's a billion Donkey Kongs and Galaga's and Miss Pac Man's and Pac Man's made. It depends on the version, too. Oh. Like, there was early versions and revised versions, cocktail versions. Um, so, if you go for a really rare one, then. It's, and it's always that funny thing, too, like when it comes to anything where you get to, you have to almost choose between is this something I want to use or is this something yeah. I just want to keep? Yeah, or display. It's like, you know, you, it let, you like the look of it. Or, Nothing wrong with any of those yeah. things, but it's like, yeah, if it's something you want to just have to be able to play, that's very different. Yes. And then you're competing against people who are collectors, and that's a tough thing. Yep. It's cheap at an arcade auction. Arcade auction. Yeah, in Vancouver, the game scene, the used video game scene and arcade game scene, it is, it's really expensive here. It's unbelievably expensive. Oh, interesting. You can't get, um, like if you go to a, um, the flea market, you can't just find um, random games sitting in a bin. The resellers buy, buy them all uh, and mark them up. You'll yeah. get, you don't find any deals in Vancouver. I guess that's why it's you terrible. would you would go to like a... down to Portland or something. Yeah, or you would even go to then. almost even like a rural like weird thing. Yeah, just to hope that Grandma kind of threw her like kids, you know, or kept. What's that? It's like a rebooting sound. I think so. It's a terrible sound. <laughs> but my computer's still going. Personal point. best. Personal All right. Best. I'm scared, James. <laughs> you can do it. Just making decisions. Yeah, just keep keep with the clusters. Just keep going. Play it safe. Personal best. Come on. Oh, oh, my God. oh my God. Second guessed yourself there. I did. You're almost out of the woods. A couple more hops. Yes. There you go. What, what, what did I have to get to? The next one? Six. Six thousand. Which isn't that far away, really. The white and blue areas are pretty close together, especially if you get a couple springs. Oh, god damn it. Maybe it doesn't give you springs in this area. Yeah, I'm not noticing any. any springs. Cool game design choice. Yes, if that's the case, great choice. Because, oh, there is one. Well, no, oh. it's... Right before the blue. Oh no, maybe it's seven thousand. It's the blue. Oh. Keep on going, then. <laughs> First, no. Oh. oh. Whew. Okay. I think, I think that's that's me. that's gonna be my last game. Six thousand three. Yes. That's awesome. Oh my Good god. Job. Now we're gonna move on to gingerbread man. I felt like a hero for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I truly did. No, you did really well. I mean, you. Beat my score. That's, That's the best I've ever done at Amoeba Jump for sure. Yep, yep. I, I'm loving the new design. Yeah, there's like there's you know levels almost, right? Yeah, it feels it feels like an, I immediately wanted to jump back in and play because I'm like more, more, more. I can do yeah. better. I can do better, right? Um, so I will give you the first uh, go at this. Um, so I will tell you what to do on this because it's very not obvious. So avoid the fire dudes and collect those and throw them at the fire dudes by, uh, by pressing up. I see. And it does quite a big arc, like half screen arc. Okay. I feel like I kind of have to get one in order to survive. Yeah. And you can't... It's very hard to jump over them. I don't even know if you can jump over them in this level. Oh, sorry. You went too quick. You're already on it. Switch over to game two. Gingerbread man. There we go. Sorry, everybody. You started too oh, quick. I Jumped just right into I it. Literally, yeah. <laughs> so for those, yeah, there's little flames on the side oh there my too. God, come on. 
for those of you who missed uh, this last show, um, it's this gingerbread man, and it's got five levels that repeat a couple times. And uh, so we're going to try and complete the game with continues, obviously, because it is a very difficult game. Oh, it's, oh you got one. Oh. Of them. That's good. Um, yes, we did see this last show, but I thought I wanted to complete the game. I didn't even finish the fifth level in this game. So. Here you go, good luck. <laughs> Holy cow. So let's see if I can remember what to do here. Oh, yeah, okay. Whoa. Did I press up? I think so. Yeah, I think I accidentally pressed up. Yeah, and those are random, eh? That's, that makes a huge difference, these guys. Oh, threw it the wrong way. There, yeah, I would have tried to kill one of the guys up top. And you can duck. Um, yeah, probably easier to get the guys up top first. For that thing. It's quite the arc. Ugh. It's like you're in an oven in the first yeah. level. Is there any time? Uh, what the? This Genesis controller is pressing up. It's too fiddly. Uh, there is a time limit. It's at the bottom, and I think that's when the oven just gets too hot and you get baked. <laughs> okay. Ooh. There we go. Two down, two to go. Do you have to kill all of them and that's how you win? Yeah, that's how you win this level. Oh, and then it's a different level. Whoa, no, 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 no. Of course it comes there. Actually, it goes through everything, so I don't have to go down there to kill that guy. You just gotta hit him somehow. So I can play it pretty safe and stay off the levels of both of those guys. You can't throw it further by, I think, pressing in the direction that it's that you're throwing it. Yes, there we good. go. Oh, and the last guy goes nuts. Crazy. There we go. Good work, dude. Yep. Okay. Now I remember this one. Oh. I have to stand here. Nice shot. Thank you very much. Oh, Mr. Fix. Oh, now it's your turn. Okay. Okay, so you have to, you can't, you cannot do anything but jump over that right there and then jump again. There you go. That's how you avoid it. Then you have to get over and up. Up, 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 up there and then get out of the way immediately there. Okay, now you have to collect all those, whatever they are. They look like speech bubbles, but they're not. Uh, they are balloons, so you can float to the roof. Out of the, once out of the oven, make your way into the dining room of the house. Collect all of the balloons, and you'll be able to float up to the roof through the chimney. Watch out for the dog and cat. Okay. I see. And then there's a crying baby outside. And you can duck, so oh, you're still in danger from that dog again. Oh, you're dead down there. Oh. You, can't you can't escape once you go down there. That's brutal. Yeah, man. stand right around there and then jump. There you go. And then up you go. There you go. Good timing. And get up there. Ah. Oh. To climb up, up, up. I see. Yeah, this one is all about timing and avoidance. But once you understand, now you're totally safe. So now you have to fall. Yeah, you have to get it from the other side. It seems this game is super duper hard, Mr. Fix says. Um, it's challenging. It is challenging. It looks like a simplistic, like, oh, easy platformer, you know? And that one, I think you get from that little post. I'm dead. Oh, dead. R.I.P. R.I.P.Y.O.U. Yeah, this is like, it's all about timing, man. Yep. And then go on the other.
other side. And then I think... Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> you have to remember that you're going to die down here unless you jump over that dog. It's brutal, man. Maybe it's here? Maybe it's from here. Oh, my God. It's okay. Oh, and that's where I want to be. Uh, cat. Oh, no. Yeah, a lot of these, this level the, to get the balloons, it's like pixel precision of, oh, oh, I know. Oops. That's okay. You needed to yeah, do Yeah, you that. have to fall on that little ledge there. And fall behind. Yeah. And then... You, yeah, you fall on that little thin ledge and then jump to the the left to get that purple balloon on the right hand side. Nope. Not enough time. Yeah, I should have waited. Yeah, the fifth level is the boss level, which is the one I did not get past. I was getting very close. But we had to move on the last time. That's why you dedicate a show, give it a little bit more room, a little bit more time to to finish it. There you go. There you go. Right to the top? No, 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 no. Oh! I oh, see, there you go. Yeah, you're right. It's got to be at the top. Yep. There's no shortcuts. No. This was this level was planned out. Completely planned this out. is very much like a puzzle game, man. It, it is. It's kind of like an action puzzler. More action, but definitely a lot of puzzle elements of like you have to do this to get this to get this and you have to be there at the right moment. So this you have to fall down there and then Ooh. You can get two at once if you do this. I'm just going to it's safe. Good. That's definitely wise. Because, yeah, even if you just get one more, I mean, that's exceptionally good. Yeah. And this one, I think you have to fall like that. And then, last one is like the same as, um, as the other one. Yeah, same as the one Keep on the other side. Keep it safe, though, man. Don't yep. push it. Don't go crazy. You always, you always try to push it, man. <laughs> Not you, I just mean like anybody. You yeah. always like, you forget to do the thing that you were. Exactly, yes. you don't want to go fast. Okay. Uh, there's a bird that kills you and the cats that kill you. Oh, that's a nice one. And what are we? What are you looking for? You're looking for the little pieces, which it's not obvious because there. <laughs> Because it was mixed in with the and other you, pieces. And you're trying to kill the, the, the cats and stuff? No. You're trying to kill the birds. You're trying to build your, your ladder out of here. Oh my god. That ladder in the left, right where I am? Oh no. And you have to get the brown piece. I just have to do that again. Oh, oh my god. Please make it easy. No, that's not easy. Well, that was pretty easy. <laughs> okay. Now I can place it. And that bird is on your ass the whole time. There. That's what I you have to see. do. And you just slowly. And repeat. Yeah. Slowly piece it together. So once you're past that, you have to fall down here, wait, get up here, get up here, duck. You can't be on that lower... Oh. Okay. <laughs> Whew. If you're on the lower ledge, the bottom cat will kill you. If you're on the upper ledge, the top cat will kill you. There you go. Indeed. And repeat. The bird's not too much of a problem because he's really slow. It's the cats and getting past that white cat because he goes back and forth so. No, no. To get past the um, yeah. that little ledge there, 
Uh, Andrew Davey, who coded Batari Basic, made this game. Yes, he did. Andrew Davey. That is not what this says. It says Fred Quimby. No, the bird. Is that a, a pseudonym for him? It sounds like a pseudonym. Shit. It says Fred Quimby, game concept, programming, graphics, sound, manual text. Atari Age, cartridge and manual production. Nathan Strum, label no. and manual design. And illustrations, David Dries, label concept. Am I mistaken? So many names to keep track of in homebrew because everybody has a code name. That's and then the a thing. real name. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. It's funny. It's code a, names. That's the thing that made me smile. It's like, what's your name? Erlen. <laughs> <laughs> That's a code name, man. Nobody has a name. Erlen. It's yeah, crazy. What kind of fictional name is this? <laughs> it's like Quentin or something weird like that. Yeah, this this guy. <laughs> what is the background of Erlen? I've never ever my heard that name. my mom actually made it up. Ah, oh, oh. right on the cat. Just. Picked it out of a hat, just a bunch well, of she, Scrabble. Well, her picked it friend out of a... was named Arlene, uh, which was okay. a huge factor. Yes. Oh, see. So close. You're building it. You had one le one more to go. That yeah. was your last one. I was I was doing okay, but Arlene, my my mom okay. and and um and she wanted a version of Arlene that was masculine. But I think that mm. she said that she liked the idea that my name would be like um un. Uh, shortenable, where uh, you would have to always call me Erlen. You couldn't really come up with anything, and because she said if you if you were, she actually my name's technically Erlan. Erlan. Because it's L A N. So whenever, but I don't really ever go by that. Sounds like an I T term. Erlan. Like it's just it, when anyone calls me Erlan, it's like I feel like they're giving me shit because my mom's the only one who actually. Erlan. Erlan. I was like, whoa. whoa. But Erlin <laughs> is what most people call me. But she didn't want Lynn because she didn't want people calling me Lynn. Oh, I see. Because it could be short to Lynn. Yeah, but um, she admitted to me that she kind of came up with it in after like her friend named Arlene, but she basically said that she thought that whether I was male or female, she was gonna do the same name. It was just, she was in love okay. with the, the name. And she's a designer, I don't know if you know that. So I think she, you, you did say that before, yeah. Yeah, so she like, she just wanted to design everything. It was very unique. I actually, the joke I tell people is that she's a hippie, so she was, <laughs> and, but, but she hates that joke, cause she's, she's actually not a hippie and it would never smoke, so. <laughs> so it was, she disturbs her to no end if I tell that joke. That's funny. But I'll do it because it bugs her sometimes. <laughs> she shouldn't have let that out, that it bugs her. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> and I'll do it in front of her friends, especially like if someone's like, oh, why'd you do it? And she's a, <laughs> she's and a they, 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 they hate that. They're like, what are you? No, do you, now they're going to think. <laughs> that's funny. But I just discovered that you can jump up while ducking. Ooh, for this level, perfect. That bird is messing with your stuff, man. Oh, get out of here. He He's what messed with me, man. That was, I was so close. Yeah, that's right. Yes, Let's go. One, one more to more. go. And this game is oh, nice in the fact that you can continue. Yeah, I like that. I mean, otherwise this would be... Ah, oh, I ducked, but I jumped one too many. <sighs> So close. I got so lucky though. The one that I had to do was like really easy to get to. Oh, that's what you're mixing one. up. I supposed to. Uh, Fred is the guy who invented the harmony cart. Oh my god. <clears throat> what is the harmony cart, my friends? Well, since you asked, the same guy who made this game made this piece of hardware. <clears throat> this piece of hardware um, is a cartridge that emulates cartridges, pretty much. And you can load the data for games on an SD card and put it in the top. Right now I have a one gig card that will hold the entire no. Atari library plus every homebrew plus anything ever made, probably like a hundred times over. Wow. Because <laughs> games are 4K or at the biggest 32 for the big, big ones. Um, but it also, has a menu that you've seen before that people have seen um, so that you can easily uh, pick which game you want so you can load lots of games onto it that was a risky jump um, and it also has an arm 
coprocessor in it, so it has a little CPU inside of this. <clears throat> that can run it much, much faster than an Atari 2600. Yeah, there you go, you're gonna make it. Oh, don't say that. Da, da, da. Yes! I just got really lucky, man. Awesome. Okay, you have to um, catch those things. Oh, okay. There you go. And then bounce on the trampolines. This thing? This nope, is a trampoline? That, that's a bird, and you don't want to irritate that oh, bird. Oh, shit, okay. Because it calls its mother over okay. to you. So jump. The left and the right, those flashy things, you have to go there and um, jump on those. There you go. There. And now it lowers a bit. Oh. And then you have to go get another one. This took us forever to figure out. And so I think somebody in the chat told us how to do it. Uh, nope. <laughs> Rip. Uh, Mr. Frick says, I, I got like three of the Harmony carts. One built into a flashback too. Ooh, that's cool. Jump with the kitty. Oh, get out of there. Um, so this has an ARM, ARM coprocessor in it, so it can, it can execute... How do you get out of this thing, man? Oh, you should be able to jump to the right um, at one of the stages, like there and over. Maybe go down one. Oh, there you go. You got it. Does it matter what trampoline? No, it doesn't matter what trampoline. News. Whichever you Great feel news. like doing. Um, and it also has a USB port in the back of it where you can hook this up directly to your computer and be programming your game and feed it, just constantly update, so you don't have to load it on the SD card, plug it in, turn it off, turn it on, do all that stuff, and it just automatically just feeds it over, which is great for programming, and you want to update things. But I don't think most people do that. I think most people, the programmers, just work with Stella, um, which is the emulator, and get it working with Stella first, and then worry about compatibility after, because Stella is so mature now that it's not a big deal to get it working. How, bug or how many of these do I have to do? Mm, I think you're probably good on the next one. Oh, you're good. Now you have to get that worm. Which is that, th th this worm? There you go. You got the worm. Now bounce out of there and feed it to the baby bird. The baby bird? Cool. Yeah. What a, that's a funny. Get, get out of the way of that fly thing. I can't remember what that is, but. Like this? Hey! This. Kicking an ass. Okay, what was what's this <laughs> I one? I haven't even had my turn yet. What's this one I gotta do? <laughs> Actually, I did it without dying. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. I feel like this thing is. Okay, yes. That's your lift. It'll okay. take you back to the top. Okay. To reset. And you've already got your ammo. So, I just... so you have to throw it at the cat. Okay. That's it. This is the boss. This is the boss level. How do I throw again up? Just up. There you go. Throw In your face, cat. There, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I so don't think anybody recommends that. And that's that's it. And I think you have to hit him like five, three times. I can't believe we didn't get that. I think we just ran out of time last episode. Come on. No. Nope. You're safe there. It's just hard. Hard to get the ammo in time. Oh. <laughs> that is not what you do. <laughs> I was just kind of... So it's good to stay up a little high while you're waiting. Yeah, once you get that thing and you just gotta... Yeah, and then go down. And then... Unleash. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Forgot about that. Unleash the beast. That's right. That one's... I feel like I pulled my weight in this ah. game. Oh, it's yeah. A good feeling. <laughs> The bird is an issue. The bird's a... Well. Ah! Damn, oh! I didn't mean to... Nah, it happens. Hey! Nice. Second chance on life. What? And is this the last level? Yep. It's the last level. Then it gets... Harder. Then it gets harder? As in... And then it repeats again, and, and it gets harder, but I haven't seen how it gets harder. Oh. It's 
hard to aim those things, man. You're the one who got that first game. I couldn't have done that. That is very. It is. It would have taken me a long time to get all the flames. So you. Also, it's just really useful that you were able to let me know what I needed to do. Cause. Yeah. There we go. Doing my best to be the brains of this operation. Oh, why I should learn? Throw it from a distance. Here you go. Throw it from a distance. Um, level 5, the boss. So you're out of the woods. The mother bird showed her gratitude by lifting you out of the trees, but she decided you were too tasty to let go. You struggled free only to fall into a cave. She is still hot on your trail, and one of the enemies has followed you inside. Ride the updrafts to pick up the loose rocks on the walls of the cave and throw them at your foes. Hit the boss three times to defeat him. If you do, you'll earn an extra player. Extra player. So you won the battle with the boss, but alas, you've been captured and placed back in the oven to cook some more. And the heat has been turned up. Damn. Will you ever escape? Can you battle through 19 levels? 19? <laughs> to have to, your chance to outfox the final boss. So oh, you, so, yeah, this is not the, 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 the final boss. No. So you'd have to do this as five. You have to do it. Oh, good job. Oh, yeah, you can throw it from up there. Totally forgot that. That's super safe. Except for the bird. It's just annoying. There you go. Oh, he turns around now. Oh, Ooh, so close. I thought that see, was... See, that's a good idea. Just stay up there. because And also you'll have the lift to bring you back up, too. Fairly easily. Yeah, that's a bit, way better strategy. Oh, off oh, off yeah. the screen. I don't need this one. I messed it up. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you how many times you've hit them, but it's pretty easy to remember that. What are you doing? I'm just trying to, like, because I need a lift, right? Oh. That's the problem, because there's no way to really get up without the lift, so I have yes. to sort of somehow figure out. Oh, that bird. Like, here I got to kind of... Right? There's nothing I can do other than just... Yeah, you'd have to get up on those second tiers. Like... Oh, I, oh there yeah. we go. I can just do that. Yep. But that's still not... Ugh. And there is a, a way to get up on those. It's like... Wow. Oh. Yeah, I feel like if you, if you can keep the rhythm going... Yeah. Oops, shouldn't have jumped at that time. Oh my god. It's rough, man. I'm gonna die again. Because that was tar IP. Get out of here. Bow. Okay. Oh, I got the bird. Hey, that's something. For what that's worth. Take that bird. I mean, that's actually not a bad thing to do at all. Cause, yeah. Because then you don't have to worry about the bird. It's hard enough killing this cat. It is. It's very difficult. From there, I think you have to do it from here. Yeah, there yeah, you go. There you, okay, that's good to know that that's possible. Yeah, that's what okay. we need to do that. Get out of here, bird. Yes. It's one. <gasps> oh my yeah, God. you gotta you, you gotta go there. You gotta jump right when that guy. Two, yes, right? two. Yeah, you just gotta get one more, man. Oh, get out of here! Oh my God, get away from me! There we go. Yes. Oh Ooh, no, that would have taken me to death. <laughs> yeah, that would have been. That's the elevator to death. Yes, it there is. Forever was one. Okay. Yeah, good thought. I had the same idea. You just gotta hit this guy. Get out of here. Get out of here. Stupid bird. Get. I need to get up there. Oh my god. Ah. 
Risky jump. Damn it. Still did it. Disappears right there, man. Oh. Yes. Cat's fast. Okay. Ah! Oh no! Damn it! I don't know if I'm gonna. Two out of three. Yeah, 19 levels, Mr. Fix. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to do that today. Well, maybe. Well, no. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Uh. I don't know if the cat resets if you die. I doubt it. Ah. Uh. Just die. <laughs> you can take your turn over. You barely even start. Rip. <laughs> Continue. Um, oh, whoa, birds. Good job. Birds fucking with me, man. I just want to see... What kind of like challenge? How it makes it harder? Yes, yes, yes. Jump out of the way. Oh. He got mad but didn't go all the way to you. Nice. Oh, I have to take the elevator. Uh oh. Oh no. Bird smashes with <laughs> it, man. It does. because it's right at the edge but you have to get it uh -oh. come at me yeah. yes yes that's two this bird's fucking with me <laughs> <laughs> <It is>. <laughs> <laughs> there you go there you go Oh no, I shouldn't no. have. Uh... You're still in a good position to get the. Oh no, you have to get the elevator all the way to the top. Oh god damn it. Oh no. That's yeah, still good. Get it, there you go. Okay. Right to the top. Yep. Yeah. Best chance. Yeah, I'll have to hit the cat once more. Come at me, cat. Don't fuck with me, bird. No! I got the bird. Okay. Oh, it's on it's on the bottom. Good job. Uh, uh. Okay, do it. Oh. Oh. No! Oh, when he's coming towards you, it's yeah. easier, I think. Ooh, okay. nice. Still in a good position. Yes! Yes. Oh my god. Oh, okay. This is different. This is new. This is different. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, okay. We can take two at a once, though. Okay, that's that's not the, too bad. Oh. The idea. Okay, come on. I think the two that you got are the best two to start with, to get rid of, because yeah. then you have this whole middle area to play it safe. And it's risky going down the side. Oh yeah, you can shoot from there. That's right. Nice. That's a nice spot for it. No. Please don't kill me. <laughs> there. Oh, 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 one. I thought you were going to get a bunch all at once. It's okay. Nice. Oh, almost got another oh, one. That would have been epic. Okay. I don't, these are hard to aim, man. <laughs> really hard to aim. Oh, like, see, like, that was like a, I gave it a go, but. <laughs> that was close. Oh, like, pixels off. Just a oh, come on, where's this guy? Okay. I'm dropping through. No, don't do that. That's too scary. Yeah. You'd have to go precise to do that. But I'm like, uh, do I fully lose if this thing goes down? Yep. You lose a life. And it's getting there. I think the time's going to be a factor in this these rounds. Ooh, the oven's heating up. So you're going to get one shot. Uh, okay. Well. Timer reset. That's good. That's good. I thought so that the timer might not that. have. Because that would have been. Possible, in fact. So I think you'll be doing okay here. 
not really a risk of dying. Yes! Nice! Level. That was a good hit. Seven now. Oh my god, this shit again. Oh my god, now there's two cats. Oh no. Oh my god. Toss those cookies. <laughs> That's right. Oh my god. Yeah, oh, good tactic, dude. I didn't even think of that. I'm there's... so dumb sometimes. <laughs> Of ducking and yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like oh my god, that's how you do it. Oh my god, there's like more bubbles now. How do you get that? Oh my god, what? How do you get that? What? You jump. What? I can't get it from here. And I tried inside already. <laughs> it's cool, um, you can crouch and jump. Interesting. Can I jump off that little tiny ledge and do it? No, you just get caught there. How do you get that? Gingerbread! <laughs> I know you get this like that. Whoa, uh -huh. how did I survive that? It's crazy. Now the other ones are fine. I know how to get those. Those were the same as before. But yeah. this one. Yeah, it's almost worth like just focusing in on this one for a bit. Might as well. Because... I don't know what the what the plan. Look, my feet is up. My foot's almost touching it. Now it's not touching it. It's further away. Kind of jumped inside of it. Do I have to jump straight up? Try How that. do I jump? I might be able to make it, like from the from the platform here. Uh oh, oh, I'm out of time. Like here, almost. Ooh, I see. Oh, there's just a little little bug that comes. You, see, you don't die right away. Oh, that's good news. Just a killer bug comes. Oh, I guess that's probably what I had before, because there was a bug that was messing with my stuff, and I was uh... like, where did this bug come from? That must be it. Oh my god. Okay. So let's concentrate on that one. Yeah, just for now, so that. It's hard because the cats are coming. Yeah, it's something like that, right? But it you jump straight oh, up and idiot. and you didn't get it. And you, your head is like it almost made it there? Well, that one. Any suggestions? Who did the RGB mod? I did. Actually, Darcy did. Darcy and I did. He's the, uh, he knows how to solder better than I do. And I will have a little video about that uh, when I get around to editing it. But I have like a billion things to edit. So, but I do have it recorded, my full, uh, ed, my full um, RGB mod is recorded. I was gonna ma I'm going to make a video of it. Mmm, that's got to be it. But it doesn't go high enough. Look, do you see that? I, I yeah. was, I wasn't, like, it's not high enough. It's got to be something else then. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah, if you get, the, the, the output is gorgeous on, um, on my system. Like, it's pixel perfect. Um, so I highly recommend it. Yeah, like, can you, like, move a touch away from it and jump into it? Like, just a pixel away? Like, just on the same platform, just move there and jump into it. Hmm. Nope. What the hell? What the hell? Yeah, because we can get the others. It's just this one. Those are easy. Those, no problem. That one is This is stuck. where... If I were playing a different game, I would look up on YouTube. 
YouTube. But there <laughs> is no YouTube for this. There might be. Sometimes people play these to the full. But I think I'm going to look it up. Because... I don't know. We've tried everything. I can't... Like, yeah. Once you've tried everything... Do you have any ideas in chat? Because, like, man, we're trying some stuff. Like, we'll we've see. tried from below. We've tried from the like left. Sedets. We've tried from the right. And it's just not happening. You keep going and all. Cool. See if anybody does a full playthrough of Gingerbread Man. Because it's been out for a while, this game. Okay. So it's okay. A quite there a good be, possibility go. that somebody's done a full playthrough. Yeah, Mr. Fix says you've tried all I would. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Gingerbread Man 2600 full. Hey! Mm, Fred. Somebody. No. My, my playthrough from four days ago comes up as the third result. There's only two other ones. One's a three minute long ad from Atari Age and for selling it. The other one is somebody, it's a high score on, on Novice, is 15,000. But I don't know if that's like somebody who made it all the way to. Oh, okay. Oh, Maybe that's it's... a good idea. I suppose it says get everything else. Maybe it moves. Oh, it's not a bad idea. That is a good idea. It's I've seen great, games like that. That's a great idea. I suppose to think. Because root moves over. Good job. Let's not look it up just yet. But I'm yeah, on the video. No, I... you're you're right. Here you go. Yeah, because even this one, I don't know how to get. The one on the left. So maybe the idea is is that you have to get the ones that you can get, and then yeah. the other ones shrunk about. Ugh, that was dumb. Went too fast. Gotta take See, it this slow. is where we need fresh ideas, man. Thanks. Yes, that was great. Yeah, you can't hurry through those cats. You can't do it all at once. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a take your time kind of game. Yep. So I'm gonna go to the right. It's a good idea. Get these two. Oh yeah, I remember you. Yes, yes. Two more to go. Those are pretty easy ones. Nope. Oh, I have to go up on the side that I'm on. Yeah. There's just not enough time with those two cats to change sides. Yeah. It's just the reality. Yeah. Cause see, even that one looks like it's it looks hard, but it's it's not. You just go down the side. Mm. Cause it looks like you can't get it, but for some yeah, reason you can. can. Yes. Jumping and ducking. Jump and duck. And this one is easy. Fall down the side here. And it didn't move. So now what? Just try it again, I guess. Huh. Try it from the inside again. The inside feels like our best go. Yeah, so this is not happening. Ducking, no, not. running, trying from here, jumping. Holding and falling through. <laughs> you ever play games like that where you hold down and, oh, yeah, and eventually, eventually it falls think. through? Uh, that's not happening here. So let's try here. Try here. No. Sometimes you can like wall hack. No. No. Let's try the inside again and then. There has to be some sort of jump from, like, underneath. It's all that's left is the underneath jump. We've tried that, like, quite a few times, is the thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to look it up because... We're fresh good ideas, ideas, though, man. That was a good idea. Try Stay Frosty on level 100. Well, Stay Frosty 2. On the last levels, you need to do everything perfect, and you'll... Just get by before melting. There's no continues on Stay Frosty 2. As far as I remember. That is another marathon one that I want to do, is Stay Frosty 2. Oh my god, this guy didn't. Did he make it? Oh, he 
he's almost... No, he didn't. Oh, he made it. Okay, let's see. He's not continuing. Dude. Yep. How do you get this one again? You just drop down to the left? Yeah, you hug the wall as you drop down. There you go. I see. Oh! Hmm. So that should be the same tactic, right? As that. But... Like, falling and hugging the wall, but there's nine continues on Stay Frosty. Okay. Yeah, this guy did not make it to this level. He made it to this level, but died immediately. That's what I was thinking. Jumping from the edge on the right-hand side, like just right on the edge. Yeah, and then jumping and falling. Gingerbread man, 2600. Maybe there's a walkthrough. Cool. Nobody plays this game. No, well, people play it, but they don't post about it. That's the thing. This is the secret. There's a secret uh, Illuminati membership <laughs> that's, right. that's required, and it's only given out to people who can. Who can get that balloon. Who <laughs> can get that balloon. <laughs> oh, no. You missed your jump. I'm gonna look up any text walkthroughs now. Any more ideas from the people out in internet land? Uh, gingerbread man walkthrough. That's a thousand games called Gingerbread Man. 2600 walkthrough. Just videos come up. What? It's nothing. Okay, we're gonna go to Atari Age. Yeah, because we 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 Forms. got all this stuff except for this one. Yeah. And it, like, is it is it the interpretation of my system is is moving it to one pixel off so that you can't get it or something? Erg. Okay, let's see what the thread of Gingerbread Man in Atari Age says. The search is terrible on Atari Age. Brings up it, Google does a much better job. Gingerbread. Gingerbread Man. That's very suspicious that he uh, died before this level. <laughs> Very suspicious. Hmm. You know what I mean? I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there. That is true. It's that is very true. interesting that that happened to be the level that he died on. So here's a thread from 2007. Final binary released. Okay. Hopefully somebody that played it here will have some sort of some sort of clue. Nice copy protection. Thanks, Atari. Great ROM. All I wanted was a balloon. Just one balloon. Just one pink balloon. They wouldn't give it to me. Uh, nope. Nope. Does nobody know how to play this? Nobody anywhere? Maybe everybody thinks it's too easy. And just, oh yeah, yeah it's easy. Oh, it's obvious. You just <laughs> jump left and right through the thingies. Oh, yeah. It's just up underneath, behind, inside that desk, behind the drawer. <laughs> That's right. You just grab it. <laughs> you just grab it like every, any other balloon. It's good practice, though. Getting good at this level. It is. So I'll just keep doing that, like that. Was that what you were doing? Yeah. Yeah. Similar idea. I thought maybe you get like a certain momentum or something. Yes. Like so in the, on that first jump, you Oops. know? Yeah. But I, but I was giving it like... Or what if you is it, what if you hold like up while you do it or something? Mm, maybe. Like... Just put in the no clipping command. <laughs> Be done with it. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, I'll just type in no clipping. 
N O C L. Just drop to command line. Boom. <laughs> I'm just thinking about the pizza I'm gonna eat later now. You know, it's like recent <laughs> that nice. point where you're like, oh. Mmm, pizza. I had pizza for dinner actually. Did you? Oh. That's probably what. You smelled it in the house. It smelled the delicious. In the microwave reheated. Ah, oh, you're the dog vegan. Is... So what did you do for the like the base and everything? It's oh, we didn't make it. It's from Panago, um, and they have p vegan crust oh, great. and vegan cheese and vegan pepperoni. And oh, perfect! It is awesome, and it's really good too. So, hold on, hold I, I, on. I've tried that. Oh, if maybe you get right to the edge. Yeah, I think this right might be the... it. <gasps> it is. That's it okay. is. <laughs> I just died now instantly. Now you get excited. But, uh, <laughs> it's got to be it. Oh, that's got to be it. That's it. I never thought about going right to the edge of that because I jumped off of it just Many by normal times, jumping. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Give yourself some time. Oh. Yes! Oh, my God. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> okay, this is where oh, you're, you're going to get to give this a go because I'm not... You're not going to make it? I'm not very oh, good at I'm not very good at this part. Okay. You're quite good at it. <laughs> but I'll get there. Hooray, Mr. Fix says. Oh, see, I already died. But yeah, you know, you get the scoop. You yeah, see what yeah. you see what we gotta do. Yeah. You oh, got the pattern. God. I think it was something like that. Something crazy and just like now I gotta do that. Eh? <laughs> okay. Yes! It is no clipping. <laughs> You really are like kind of going through the wall a bit. Okay. That's cool though. I'm, I gotta say, that's that very was... satisfying. That took us. I'm happy YouTube didn't teach us that. It took yeah. us some serious. <laughs> yes. But that's also the beauty of these old Atari games, man, is the fact that like they didn't necessarily come with an instruction book. Yeah. You got. You had to go no through things books. like this, you know? If you. Yep. You know, I was just playing, because um, I'm cat-sitting, I was just playing um, Fallout 4 at, a, at, a, at the place, and I'm like, there's everything is spelled out for you. It's oh, yeah. It's ridiculous. You can buy books on it. You it's know? just like you can Google instantly, and even it's like the first level. Full walk through. Power armor, mini gun. It's just, they give you everything instantly, and it just feels like it's not as satisfying. I have way more satisfaction from this discovery <laughs> in Gingerbread Man than anything I've played in the last day on Fallout 4. <laughs> So the, whoever made this game, I'm just letting you kudos. know. You, I would, I would give you a higher rating than Fallout 4. Yeah, super I, kudos. I feel so much more satisfied for having puzzled our way through this. Oh yeah. See, oh now God. this is just skill. Like yeah. this, this one here is just. Oops. Now there's just two cats now, so it's not too much harder. If there's two white cats, oh my God. Oh yeah, that's going to be the next round. Yeah. It's like, no room for oh, error. Oh, this looks like there's less. We might need more Ugh. of oh, these. Do you see what yes. I mean? Because yeah. I'm looking at it. Yeah, it looks like it requires like one more. Oh my god. Oh man, brutal. That was dumb. Nah, man, I would have done the same thing. <laughs> Didn't even think about the cats below. Oh, there we go. If I, can do both I got really time. lucky though, because I got to do a bunch that were like, oh shoot. It's a skill you gotta learn now is the the jumping ducking skill. Yeah, I was using that on um, the last round, and it's it's pretty damn helpful. Definitely. Oh. Let's see if we can. So this is level eight. <laughs> Eight of nineteen. Damn. Well, twenty. Where is it? I was right there. Nineteen, and then the boss. Fortunately, there's no um, password system. <laughs> it's old school. You That's kind of fun, though. Don't. You know, it's like part yep. of the experience. It is. Where? Where's this other one? Like, Mom, don't turn off the game. Please don't do it. I'm gonna have to play it after school tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's just that bird was messing with oh. me because he was right there too. I was like, "What do I do?" Was a bird in this level before? Um, I don't remember. I, I don't mean, think there, he was. He, he might have been. He might have been. Yeah. 
does ducking work? Yeah, you do duck low enough. Oh, you can jump right up through the middle green. Hmm. Yeah, that makes things a little bit easier. Yeah. But it's still not so easy. Oh, oh see you, freebie. Giveaway, yeah. Freebie. I, I got really lucky. Remember I got it last time? I had a bunch of those. I had like three in a row. That All were like on the that. top? Where is it? It's right there. Oh, there it is. Way down there. Cats are coming. There are blog entries about Gingerbread Man, but nothing mentions the next time around. Yeah. Oh, blog entries. Okay. Oh, I didn't look for blogs. Oh, oh. Good job. Whoa, risky. Oh, the bird. Oh. <laughs> You couldn't have done anything. Yeah, I shouldn't have uh, pushed oh, it. Giveaway. Oh, it's such a shame because if, if it wasn't for. Oh. oh, no. Damn it. Yeah, they probably don't want to give away. Like. Makes sense. I mean, I, I gotta say, that was uh, that was a satisfying. That was a tough one. Oh. Damn it. I'm just gonna die. Yeah, not bad. Nice, there's pits. Those are easy. Yeah, maybe easy deaths. <laughs> oh, it's, see oh. if you can get it from here. Yeah. Yay! Is it? More. Oh. oh, bird. Yeah, man, this bird messes with your stuff. It's a good idea. Yeah, wait for the good time. Then. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good tactic. Yep. I don't know why I didn't do that. Right in the middle. It's no panic. Do the duck. You can get yourself situated smartly too for yeah. that. It's, yeah, so it creates less of a panic that way. You can get close as you want. And you unless get... that bird's messing with your stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Drop down. That's a tough one. Yeah, you'll have to. tough spot you're in yeah that's not a good spot you got it you got yeah. it yeah that cat doesn't give you much time one more that's all you need all you need you got a couple lives too that's good news get out of here get he know he knows that you only have one left <laughs> he does he's after he probably does he probably makes it more vicious when you when you're getting there Where I saw you jump. Oh, he could. Oh my god. Yeah. You oh, I was panicking because the bird was. I wasn't. No, it's just long, I would have done the same. I, I mean, there's only so much you can do. Yeah, I wasn't even looking at the bird. Sometimes you're like, oh, I gotta get past the cat. Panago and... sounds like a good idea. <laughs> so you haven't ordered the pizza yet? It's no. Not leftovers? Oh, no. Okay. But I'm thinking of getting pizza tonight. Just because uh, she she gave me like 20 bucks for food. Nice. So I was like, ah, oh, okay. Babysitting money. Yeah. <laughs> She's got a really nice cat. Oh, good. I've been worse than a terror cat. Oh, yeah. Well, that mum bird is like super crazy now. Yeah. Oh, my God. You have to get it. I remember the only way I got this was I, I was oh, just. Oh, on that side. Oh, shit. Forgot about the cats. Yeah. It's, it says a lot yeah. of good work. Oh, this bird's AI is getting <laughs> getting out of control. Ah! Oh, oh my god! Yeah, you god. gotta be careful near that baby bird, man. Damn it! This is a hard one. Yeah, that that bird is on you. Yeah, stay right near the. Yeah, you gotta get. And that thing's falling faster too. Good job. Now it says if you get near the baby bird, it irritates the mother. I haven't found that. Oh, <laughs> oh wrapped it's, around. Wow, man, that's rough. It's, it's, uh, defying the laws oh. of physics and wrapping around the world. <laughs> oh no! There you go. Oh, 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 not too bad. Not too bad. And you're near a trampoline too, yeah, so, so that's, that's good that worked out well. Come on. There, good. I'm just gonna go to the one that's like the knot where the bird's at, you know? Yep, good job. 
Yeah, you can see the birds over there. I'm like... He wraps around, and he's not dumb. Whoa. Yeah, see, what so do you no do escape. with... See, same tactic, I think. Yeah. But he's gonna kill me. Watch. Yep. Pfft. Yeah. Hello. It's a bird, man. It's a bloody bird. Come on, up there. Oh no, it's in the pit of cats. We did some serious problem solving. Oh yeah, have you figured out more of these Say problems? hi on camera so they don't think yeah. we're talking to them. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, we... we Where we... is it? Oh, it wrapped around. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. So, wait, there are two cats now? What's going on? Yeah, this and is... And two this... birds? Oh no, one no, bird. No, 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 just one bird. It are... wrapped around. I guarantee it'll be two the next round. Uh, so this is like... The second time around. The second time around. Oh! <gasps> Yeah, it's like the same level, but they kind of like ramp up the difficulty. The last one was brutal. We had to spend like really so good. much effort. People in chat had no idea what to do. Yeah. Either. They were like, I don't know, try this. Yeah, yeah that was hard. Oh my God. Yeah, we got to the end of, was it this level? Um, or the one after no, it? We got to the boss and we just couldn't do it. Ooh. Yeah, we just, we just kind of gave up. Yeah, <laughs> it was just too <laughs> but it's hard. good. A little bit of. Uh, Oh, oh, there we go. Sometimes you have to sleep bad. on things too. Hell yeah. Yeah. Also, James seems Let's to be better slower. at the levels that I'm not good at, and yeah. I seem to be better at the uh, ones that he's not good at. Okay, that's so, good. So we managed to, we're, we're making a decent team. Today. <laughs> yep. yep. Normally, normally James does off. all the heavy lifting. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah, I see it. Uh, he has and the, the, the trampolines are going down slower. Oh my god. Yeah, what do you do? Like Oh, they go down slower at this Yeah, level. they are, they are. They're going down a lot slower. That bird's moving fast. Yeah, yeah man, like... and he messes with you. <laughs> like look at this. I'm going to like he's going to come up right when I Mr. Fix says hi. Hello. <laughs> That's See, Tanya for me. people who are joining us for the first time. Yeah. Looks like pretty normal people. All the usuals, usual suspects are here. Arena Foot dropped in for a little cool. bit, about 10, I, 15 I minutes. He was at work. Um, yeah, it's getting, it's hot upstairs. Yeah. There's like a lot cooler it's down here. It's hot I'm here, go so I can't imagine. Sit on our balcony and read, I think. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, cool. Well, let me know how you do. Well, I'm doing okay. Really some some are harder than others. Oh. You've got a Pixel and Atari now chasing. It doesn't yeah. surprise me because I mean, they, I think they got the same idea about this uh, heat. Say hi. Say hi. Oh, he's upset oh, and sleepy. He was oh, sleeping it fell on off the, the world. Wow. Oh, <laughs> what do you trapped? Do? What do you do with something like this? Oh, get up! Get up! Oh! oh. <laughs> Brutal. You were first and last to play Poodle Jump. Oh, I love Poodle Jump. Oh. The first and last. No one else played Poodle Jump? Well, we played Amoeba Jump. Oh, yeah, but... Right? I know, but... Oh, I like Poodle Jump. Poodle Jump is a lot of fun. Yeah, well, maybe cute. somebody will make a hack. <laughs> and change it back to a poodle. Ah. You should always have ah. a Tari Jump. Oh, he's purring. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you are so sweet. So happy. He's, he's a really a nice cat. I know, I know. I know I'm a cat like Ah, oh, my god. God, this level. <laughs> He's like a little puppy. Yeah, in a he little is. Ways. He is. He's this just happy. Level. He just wants to be around you. Yep. I don't know what mix, what magical mix of breeds he is. <laughs> He's definitely a mutt, but. Uh, oh yeah. That goes down like that much. I don't think you let me play this last time. Let you play? Well, no. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I you level. started playing, and I was watching you play. Oh. Like I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't actually get a chance to give it a go. <laughs> or I did, I did on the first level, but I wasn't doing very well. It, oh. it takes a little while to get used you to. You just me. was. You were more interested in helping me figure out what to do. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you, you just like stand back, <laughs> let me play. Yeah. No, I'm fine with that. Oh, I should have jumped for it. There you go. Oh. It's like a leaf. I think this is a leaf falling. Looks like a leaf falling. I feel like that's the case. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, oh, falling god. leaves. What's and springy this? exposed <laughs> tree roots. 
springy exposed tree roots. Is that what that's something. supposed to be? Yeah. Yep. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. You can conti keep con continuing. Though, yeah. Right? Oh yeah. It hasn't we've... forced you to. No, infinite continues, which is good. Bird. Yeah, the bird is. Bird's the hardest part of this situation, man. It yeah, definitely no is. Oh god, how do you do it again? You gotta kind of go to the, the top and right there. Yeah, there we go. That's brutal. Yeah, you just have to keep away from the bird. Is yes. Yes. Oh, I'm yes. going to the other one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then kind of lead him. At least halfway to the screen because he wraps Do around. I have... I feel like I'm getting close, man. Yeah, getting get close. close. Try the other side. Oh, no, the bird's on the other side. He's coming. Okay. He's coming <gasps> for me. Oh, my goodness. I think you're really close. I think after this one, try, just try on this one, maybe. You might be able to do it. You get the, the worm? Yep. What is that noise? Oh, no, the bee! Oh. Ran out of time. Not the bee. Not the bees. Not the bees. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, see, he's just like on me, man. That bee is you could so try and get the worm if you want. It might be. Oh, mm. so close. How do I do it again? It's just a good bounce. That's all. You have to bounce off the trampoline. No, you're still going to <gasps> Oh my god. Don't die though. Ah, <gasps> oh, see. It's your last chance. Okay, no. Do, Does go it, one more. Do you, lose, do you lose height if you die? Like, nope. do you lose... If you continue, yeah, it resets. Well, oh, okay, but you don't if you... <sighs> it's tough. Oh, my goodness. Oh. That was a lucky. <laughs> yeah. Get... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This bird is the hardest part of this thing. The real question, though, is can you get to, like, worm? Do you Can you do that before? No. Or is it you have you to have do to do a bunch of... Jumps on Jumps it. on the trampoline. That bird, I something else. <laughs> oh, also the Larry Sanders show is still so good. <laughs> it continues like, to be good forever. I think it's Until like it's I, game I, over. I think it gets almost better now in the middle. It's the middle is find their their yeah. spot. Ah! <gasps> Oh it's my, my hangout God. show. I just play it. Whenever. Yeah, I just put it on. Yeah, whenever I'm doing stuff. But then it's actually too good to like not just like give all my attention to. It's not a background show because there's so many good looks and, and so many famous people. Yeah, and so many like I mean, beginnings of now. careers. It's crazy. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, famous people in the '90s. I guess. Hey, late. When was it? It was 90s. Wait, it was yeah. 90s, early 90s. And they weren't like well, new Seinfeld's famous. Well, like the same, right? No, but on the, on the, yeah, I guess. Like on the Seinfeld... Larry Sanders show, it's it's a bit different because there's the or... real people that are like portraying themselves. Oh, yeah, the saying. guy who plays yeah. uh, uh, like Saul Goodman is mm. actually in it. He plays his like agent. Oh, yes, oh, that's yeah. right. And so it's crazy. That's an early it's, like, role deep for cut stuff. It's yeah. crazy. Oh, oh, what do you do? Oh, it's just drifted to the other but side. We were watching what Seinfeld the other day, and Megan yeah. Mullally was on it. Uh huh. And uh, oh. she looks so different in it. It Very was crazy. Different. You're the one who pointed it out. I'm like, Barely oh my God, looks it like is. her. Because she didn't do her nasally high pitched. No. Whiny voice. <laughs> oh my God. I risked it. I shouldn't have done. <laughs> that bird's like. Always steps, just like a couple Inches steps away, away. from me. I yeah. mean, the odds of me getting this, <laughs> it's pretty low. He turns around. As as yeah, why knows. she's going to go. He's, he knows what's up. I guess it's a she. It's the mother bird. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, watch this. Oh, oh yes. You're doing really well, though. You know, I think Bad. you're doing better than I am on this. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, this is a tough one. I can get the rhythm going, like, if you can basically, like, get them before they land, like, three yes. or four in a row, yeah. you're winning. It's really hard otherwise. And, like, this is a situation now which no one wants to be in. Yeah, see, there you go. See, yeah. if you can get a bit lucky. I basically oh, run to the... Back, I just out. run to the middle so that <laughs> I can have a good chance at getting it before it falls. Yes. But it's not... don't want that landing in a terrible spot like Right there. And who knows, like that, or like oh, it's like the opposite gosh. side. And like this bird, what can you do? I went too crazy. But the bird was right after me. I, I had no escape route. There's no escaping the bird. There isn't. 
How long have you been working on this level for? Um, not this is super. Like just long. before you came in, it oh, was. Okay. Mm. This is definitely bang for your buck this round, though. Yeah. Because. Uh, oh yeah. Because yeah. Well, I imagine the replay would be really good too, because like if you had to do the first round again, it would not be as hard. <laughs> oh, that's true. Because so we get so used to like the super hard version. So <laughs> this is the bird. Is the oh. oh my gosh. This is the bird level though, I guess, because it's the baby birds right there, yeah. right? Yes. Oh yes. That was a amazing. No! I don't know what level you have to get it to, but I, th I think you need like two more. Two more little. Probably. I think you got really close then. Like, yeah, you so were like time. one away. It was, you know, you were jumping, and it seemed like you would jump up there in like one or more, one or two minutes. I think we're getting a little better. Just see, like, see, like, risking. I don't like it when the bird's in the middle, because it, like, corners you to one side. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, ugh. But see, like... Good. Yeah, you get some lucky leaves, and... That's all over there. And that's okay. Others. I got a couple in a row. Which we're good. Yeah. I almost have to, I have to do bird. that and jump over it. Oh, oh, so I went for it, it, man. I should have done. It's like you have to use all three lives to finish this level. <laughs> A cumulative leaf jumping. I've never rushed more in my life or something. <laughs> It took us a long time to figure out even how to make like this work. Th how how this worked, like with the with the um. Because it just the says trampolines the falling and the, leaves. the falling leaves and springy exposed tree roots may help. It's like they, that's they, all it said. It took us forever help. to figure out. Oh yeah, you have to pick up the leaf and jump on the trampoline. Yeah, there was a level that we were on earlier. That was oh, yeah. a nightmare. Oh yeah, you just just we for figuring out how to make it work. Or? Yeah, we couldn't figure it out. The the chat couldn't figure it out. The internet has no information. Nobody does a full play through this game, <laughs> except for us now. And um, there's no typed oh, up version of it. It's just mm -hmm. nothing. Yeah, the AI on that bird is really good. He turns around at spots that I would think, why is he turning around right now? See? See this fucking bird, man. <laughs> right on your ass. Okay. Oh, what? What? Go down again. It's, go down. It's low it's enough. It's at the lowest. It's at the lowest. I gotta go for. Yeah. Gotta go for that worm. No. I know. No. I know. Last life. Be very careful. I don't worry. I will be. I'm just. I feel stressed. Okay. You can do it. How do I bounce it? Just right. Bounce it. Just bounce, bounce over. over. Yeah. There you go. Now you feed the baby bird. Oh. Oh. No. No. Oh can you throw God. the leaf? No. no. Oh, maybe you can, but don't do it. Just, just, just run, run. I for know. It. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes! Oh my God! <laughs> All right, on that note. <laughs> oh. Bye bye. Bye. Oh. Okay. Oh, you're still playing. Oh yeah. Technically, you're still playing. <laughs> okay. You can see. Oh. Press button. Continue. There you go. You okay. Can. Whew. Oh, it's a dog. Was that a cat before? Yeah, it was. Oh, so this is. Oh yeah, we gotta kill so this now guy. Now you're not safe on this. Damn. Next time. You're safe there, which is fairly easy to get to. Yeah, that's right, man. You're not safe on that either. My God. God. That bird is more re relentless. Oh, he turned around. Ah, that jerk. Oops. This is a hard one. <laughs> Brutal. Oh, the cat has been replaced by a dog. That's correct, man. Yes, that is right. And uh, the bird has been replaced by a killer bird. This bird from is... From the last level, which was the hardest part of it. I mean, it was hard. That Come at me. Do you only have to 
get it. Oh, <laughs> makes you only have to get him three times. <laughs> Man. Rip. Yep. No, 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 no! Ah. Wall jump. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why did you put the bird there? Bird this and is... the dog going doot 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 doot. Where is this guy? Okay, this is, uh... This is not good. Somebody's like cooking bacon outside. Oh yeah. It smells so much like just... Um, smoke flavor. Wow! What do you they do? Just go Burp. Just track you. Wow. Because <laughs> the dog's t taller. To do the wall jump. Damn. Yeah. We haven't even got him once. We just need. We just need three. That's all we need. Take that. Wall jump. Bird. Honing in. Just coming in. Just coming in to kill just me. Just relentless. Get out of here. Ah! Uh, well, one. One out of three. It's progress. A little bit of progress. No. You just what do you do? What do you do, man? I don't even know. Shit. Yeah, this is where you gotta get lucky. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did the trick move? Died anyway. Oh, lucky, lucky. bastard. Yeah. Okay, you got him once. That's right, Mr. Fix. The dog may be man's best friend, but it's not a gingerbread man's best friend. <laughs> gingerbread man. See, there you go. That's, that's some good copy. That's 100% correct. Holy. Luckily, there's Whoa. more of a, like, area to hit him. I yeah. mean, there's the optimist. <laughs> yeah, there is. He's bigger. So that... Uh, oh, I was still in the lift. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where is it? God, fucking burn. It's just... Oh, relentless. Okay. <laughs> I... Cause see, Down in... the pit. I... And that jump from there to there is so hard. Yeah, I think that's what we gotta get good at. If, yes. if we can get good at this. That was about as far as I felt like you could do it. <laughs> Safely going? Yeah. I was like, damn. It is, it is like yeah, last pixel this... kind of jump. Oh, oh, there. Well, it that gives us something to work with. Yeah. Um, or does it? Yeah, you can get that. Okay. See, ah, oh, see, I came down at the wrong time. Oh, okay, bird. Good job. Oh. Wall jumping all day. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's so whoa see? Oh, faster. my God. He's faster than the cat, too. What Not only it? bigger, but faster. We're going to have to call it soon. I think so. Unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Let's just throw it off the cliff. Because really, in theory, what you basically need to do is hit him the first time. Um, you, you, I suppose that's right. You can shoot the bird. You can, but it disappears for a tiny bit. But it's kind of like, like. But once you get the brick, you're like, oh, I gotta get that dog. Oh my god, get out of here! Yes. Uh, just go for it. Oof, got it. 
get. Yes. And full lives. Full lives. Get out of here, bird. Yes. One more to go. Whoa. doing it when he was over here. No, no, no! Damn. Damn it! Okay. Last one for me, I think. Okay. I'll go one after you, and then we'll call it. Oh, you got him! I thought you were going for the bird for a second. Oh, nice! Oh! And then it goes away. Goes somewhere else. The bird doesn't. The bird stays exactly where it was. Down and low. Good job. There we go. Take me up to a better place. <laughs> oh, oh, he... It's going right for you. Wow, oh, bastard. Do it. Yes. That's number two, right? Yes. Nice. Oh! Oh, oh, risky. Oh, we had, I, I was like, we have to just go for it. I was like, was it's right there. I'm like, I got, I got to shoot. Cause I was like, cause I just felt like they're both common. And I'm like, they it's, were, it's either, they were in, it's and... either we get this or we don't. Damn. Yeah. Oh. I know Mr. Fix. Oh, ah, get out of it's here. possible. It's definitely possible. Yeah, it is possible. We're we're within reach now. It's too bad you can't do a continue because we could totally do uh, do a two parter. I know. There's there's nothing like that to to do it. Ah, oh. that was that was dumb. Oh. <gasps> The bird. Oh In my your god! your face, bird. Yeah, because you got to get lucky, right? Because I mean, it's very possible that you could get a bunch of um, bunch of them near the near the bottom, right? Yeah, it's true. See, like birds instantly back. It's not worth it. No. Oh, he veered away. That bastard dog. What am I doing? It's nowhere there. He's nervous. This bird, man. My God. He's, uh, Mr. Fix says, if you were playing on the Retron, can't you save it? Yes. If we were playing on that terrible system, we could save it. <laughs> yes. That is true. That is one advantage of the Retron. <laughs> Oh. Okay. <laughs> this is the boss level. We have to finish this. Okay. We have to. I'm just gonna die. Because then at least we finished yeah, two that's full right. sets. You're right. It's yeah. We can't quit here. Otherwise, of course, I should play better. Continue. Be nervous for a second. This button broke. Really? Really? Did I really press up? I don't think I did. Get out of here. <laughs> Bird. Go back to your baby. Go back to the other level. One? Good. That's all you need. Okay, good. And I bet you you'll be able to get it. Yes. Yeah. Just... Yes, 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 yes. Ah, get, why does it start him off so low? Why does it start you off at the bottom of the screen, too? Why not the top where you start in the game? It's be too easy. Yeah, I think so. It'd be way too easy. Why. It was, and it, it was the same in the last level, too. Like the last one round that we did. Yes, 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 yes. You got this, you got this, you got this. 
Just take your time. Yes! Congrats, dude. Okay. Two full run-throughs. We're good. And we can totally do this, too. Yeah. That's the same. Yeah. It's the same as the last time. Anyway. It's good. We're good. If two we made times. it through two times. Well, thank you all for hanging out. This was yes. a really fun one. Yeah. That I was... didn't, I've never had my skills tested so much. <laughs> yes. Extreme skills on that. That's yeah. for sure. It, it's, it's a fun one. This it, is one of my favorites that I've played. I'd say I enjoy <laughs> really? this. I really enjoyed this one, wow. especially the problem solving aspect. And this yes, is, this is up there where it ramps ramps up. Um, yeah, thank you, Mister Fix. Congrats. I think we did an accomplishment. We ran through oh, twice. Oh yeah. Um, thank you for the stream. You're very welcome. Oh, wide, not close copies. So they were, they're a little bit further apart this time. I think oh. they were close together. That's the difference. Good eye, eye is supposed to. You're right. So it would just be like... Because last time I was able to kill them with like one. I was yes. Like, this time, not so much. So it'll take a little bit more. May have to do this again, but much later. Because I yeah. it's too close. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and but, I, it'd have to be the only one that you'd do. Yeah, I wouldn't have time. I thought we could do it faster, but no, it gets hard it as takes hell. takes time, man. Yeah. And uh, as per usual, the amoeba jump, fun as always. Great time. And uh, we'll give that another run through when there's some more big, big changes. Um, sounds like he has lots more ideas to put implement it. into this. And uh, so the next, the next show is on Friday, and we will be playing. I believe it's some work in progress stuff. Let's see. is um i supposed to thanks for streaming you got to try dragon stomper and mind master i believe dragon stomper is not a homebrew and mind master i'm not sure about that <laughs> <laughs> has to be homebrew but thanks for the recommendations yes. i suppose i'll have to, to look up mind master though um next week we're actually playing i supposed to's game really uh, not next week on friday um what what game it's a very 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 early work in progress cubert for awesome. the 2600 it was made but he wants to make it better and it looks good um yeah both star path superchargers so they're not homebrew so we can't play them on the show yeah. um and we're playing space game also a work in progress and sword of surter which wow. is an adventure game that sounds which fun. we will probably come back to because it is a yeah exactly it is a big game and it's i think it's almost done that game so it's quite advanced that if you need a cartographer uh, we know. might somebody, <laughs> somebody did post the full map online so we may not have to write that out you can print good. it off and have it yes in. that's good and so i still need two more to, uh two more games for that on friday and i've got a list of a couple more that i have to look at that i may include but it should be lots of fun and sort of surter is an adventure game like anguna um, shooting a bow, you actually get That's into right. a ship too and sail on the water. Those are my favorite cool. kind of games. I like those ones. ones. Um, so that is it for us, and we will be actually filming on a one of the days on a Friday. Yeah, so we'll have. So to... that which day is that? Twenty. That, that's the twenty. Third. Fifth. Twenty-four, twenty-fifth. Yeah, that'd be the twenty-fifth. Twenty. Well, it's a Friday. So yeah. Let's see. No, 24th. 24th. So we won't be here on the 24th. I mean, that's in many weeks from now. Yeah. Just giving you a heads up. Um, you got our Atari Age suggestions. Atari Age suggestions? Oh, Atari Age suggestions. On the forums. Thank you. Excellent. Keep them coming. Any, anybody out there, please suggest any homebrew games that you want to see on the show um, that I haven't played yet um and we will definitely take a look at them anything that i missed in the forums that i didn't um because i've i'm keeping a list of upcoming games as well on my forum post um and definitely subscribe to the youtube channel where we post these streams and other streams and edits and also facebook twitter instagram all, all that those. good stuff and twitch right here Make sure so you don't miss any. 
And like usual, we're Wednesdays and Fridays. Wednesdays at 7. Fridays alternating between 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. I know, it's weird. It happens, though. That's life, man. It's life. Um, so thanks for hanging out, everybody. Mr. Fix, Ice Bosta. Uh, Arena, Arena Foot for Foot. a while. Yeah. Um, Irk the Jerk. Irk the Jerk. Mau Mau Games. And everybody else that was just lurking around and yeah, just, just watching hanging out. and not typing and everybody else on YouTube. Thanks for thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll see you in two days. And is it at seven? No, it's at two. It's going to be at 2 p.m. on Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. So Perfect. figure that out wherever you live. <laughs> um, so thanks for hanging out and see you on Friday. Bye bye. Bye.